everybody. <coughs> Sorry. Hello, everybody. And welcome to another weekend. And today we have a nice exclusive guest. is uh, Raghuram, who's also got some Telugu uh, roots and connections. And uh, actually, this is the first episode I would like to say. Welcome first. Thank you. Welcome to Permit Room, uh, Thank you. Raghu. I must say I'm disappointed sir, already. Anna. Where's the, sir, Anna. Where's the alcohol? Permit... <laughs> Somebody said you have to go to permit room. I said, okay. <laughs> Black of HR. Sorry. Yeah. What were you saying? Sorry. No, sir, like, uh, this is, uh, like, oh, the first episode, actually, I feel, in a way, uh, I'm starstruck. Hmm. Because uh, yeah. the person who was, like, you know, uh, bashing out and, like, you know, taking out all those guys uh, in the auditions of roadies is now here, is, yeah. like, centered. So... feel actually a little starstruck so i'm little if i go koncham atti da emana questions ayindante please forgive me okay anta easy kal i'll hit one person meer nominate cheyandi ee room lo ee room lo ever unna ever tappu chesina vaanni koddam okay is that okay yeah yeah fine who is it green t-shirt green t-shirt ha vaadu mohan chustune kotte laga undu buddheshun kada eminently hitable face vaadu అండ్ ఇందులో అడ్వాంటేజెస్ లైక్ తెలుగు బూత్లు కూడా మాట్లాడవచ్చు మీకు వచ్చి నేను నేర్చుకుంటున్నా 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 దెర్ సమ్ దిస్ ఫ్రీడమ్ నాట్ నోట్ ఫ్రీడమ్ వై సే లిబర్టీ ఇన్ లైక్ అబ్యూజింగ్ ఓకే సో ఫస్ట్లీ ఇట్స్ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ దట్ దట్స్ వే వీ వెంట్ ఫస్ట్ సారీ ఎన్ దెన్ ఇట్స్ ఇట్స్ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ డోంట్ బీ వాడిని కొట్టాను ఎందుకంటే ఐ నో దట్ మై నేమ్ ఇస్ స్ట్రాంగ్లీ అట్లీస్ట్ వాస్ అండ్ clearly still is strongly connected with um unparliamentary language with with so called abusive words uh that is completely missing what i'm saying by focus you're missing the forest by focusing on the trees yeah uh because think about it our episodes lo nene editor na nenu na editing team kuchuni అన్ని వర్డ్స్ అలాంటి వర్డ్స్ మేము ముందు బీప్ చేసేవాడు ఫస్ట్ వి మ్యూట్ చేసాం ఎందుకంటే బీప్ వెనకాల కూడా వినపడుతుందని అది మ్యూట్ చేసి దాని చోట బీప్ పెట్టి నో మౌత్ కూడా మేము బ్లర్ చేయడం మొదలు పెట్టేస్తాం సో దాట్ పీపుల్ కాంట్ ఈవెన్ లిప్ రీడ్ అయినా దాట్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఐమ్ అసోసియేటెడ్ విత్ ద వర్డ్స్ యూ కాంట్ హియర్ ద వర్డ్స్ ఐ స్టాప్ యూ ఫ్రమ్ హియరింగ్ హ్యావ్ ఎండెడ్ అప్ డిఫైనింగ్ మీ టు అ లెవెల్ వేర్ దట్ ఈస్ ద ఫస్ట్ థింగ్ యూ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ హ్యావింగ్ సెట్ దాట్ ఐ టెల్ యూ టూ థింగ్స్ వన్ ఐ డోంట్ గివ్ అ ఫాక్ ఓకే ఐ నో మీరు బీప్ చేస్తారు ఏం చేస్తారు బట్ ఐల్ టెల్ యూ ఐల్ టెల్ యూ వై ఐ ఆమ్ నాట్ అ ప్రాపర్నెంట్ ఆ ప్రోపగేటర్ ఆర్ ఆర్ డిఫెండర్ ఆఫ్ అబ్యూజివ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ నాకు ఐ డోంట్ కేర్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ సేయింగ్ ఇట్స్ గుడ్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ సేయింగ్ ఇట్స్ బ్యాడ్ ఐఎమ్ సేయింగ్ ఇట్స్ దేర్ నేను కూడా నేను ఇన్వెంట్ చేయలేదు కదా నేను కూడా నేర్చుకున్నాను ఐ గ్రూ అప్ లిస్నింగ్ టు దిస్ ఇస్ హౌ పీపుల్ టాక్ సో ఐ వాజ్ టాకింగ్ లైక్ దాట్ దే వాజ్ అ రీజన్ ఫర్ ఇట్ ద రీజన్ ఇన్ ది ఆడిషన్ దే వర్ టూ రీజన్స్ వన్ నేను అలా నార్మల్గా ఫ్రెండ్స్ మాట్లాడినట్టు మాట్లాడితే యూ గెట్ అ లిటిల్ కంఫర్టబుల్ నోయింగ్ దట్ దిస్ ఈజ్ నాట్ హ్యాపనింగ్ ఫర్ కెమెరా అండ్ అండ్ యూ ఆల్సో సే థింగ్స్ విచ్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ అగైన్ గివ్స్ ది ఐడియా దిస్ ఈస్ నాట్ ఫర్ కెమెరా ద ఐ వాంటెడ్ ద పర్సన్ టు ఫీల్ దట్ దిస్ ఇగ్నోర్ ద కెమెరాస్ ఫోకస్ ఆన్ మీ ఫోకస్ ఆన్ వాట్ ఐఎమ్ సేయింగ్ అండ్ టాక్ టు మీ అదర్ మ్యాటర్ సో దిస్ లాంగ్వేజ్ హెల్ప్ దేర్ హ్యాస్ బీన్ స్టడీస్ దట్ హ్యావ్ ప్రూవ్ దట్ abuses relieve pain if you stub your toe if both of you stub your toe nee iddarki kottan anko one of you scream and abuse the other don't the one who screamed and abused pain goes down it's a fact actually if you touch ekkad tak kot debba tagilte pattukuntaru kada dan toti taggutundi because we have evolved to be social to be near each other those who have parents and I have a better chance of survival because every pain when you touch somebody else touches mm-hmm. it goes down mm-hmm. saliva cut it just like that it helps and abuses help mm-hmm. also it is it is just people who use that are shown to be more iq but i don't believe that anyway sorry what was your question <laughs> that you are associated with the swear words swear words. even though you were yeah the reason uh, was something yeah like. yeah i don't care actually you know what I think swear words is an excuse for people to hate on me. I don't think the problem is swear words. The problem really is what I'm saying. What I'm saying is very unconventional. It goes against traditional wisdom. I am an atheist, I am an anti-theist, I am 
uh, uh, I am for um, uh, equal rights. I'm known as a feminist. I'm, that is also someone I am. I'm not only a feminist. I'm for equal rights for everybody. Um, that flies in the face of how society wants to be, of how we have been taught. And that is offensive. For, that's actually threatening for people. I have been attacked by political parties, once by ABVP, who mm. threw ink at my face. And they said that, you know, um, this boy is against Indian culture because he abuses. Well, everybody does. Mm. And I, I don't know what, what a culture is that uh, a few words can threaten. Uh, but it is true that what I talk, uh, what I say, pisses off conservatives and right-wingers. So I think the Walu, instead of taking me on on the substance of what I'm saying, they take me they the use form. the uh, galis as an excuse to attack me, hmm. and to them I say, "Fuck you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you." No, no but, but I have another takeaway from the roadies. Mm. Uh, I felt like, you know how they say, "Who watches the Watchmen?" Like hmm. that, who bullies the bullies? I think you were bullying the bullies <laughs> while you were... He got it. Yeah, yeah. He got <laughs> it. People... I've written a book called Rearview My Rudy's Journey. Huh. Growing up, Rajiv and I were bullied a lot. In fact, it has traumatized me and completely uh, defined me. Everything I have done... It's like uh, there are two kind of people. Right? Like... Like, there are some experiences, and again, I'm not comparing bullying with rape. I'm not saying it's l more traumatic or as traumatic. Rape has to be very, very traumatic. Bullying, in the same way, takes away your personality, your presence, your agency. Your, this reduces you to nothing. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay? It's traumatic. Yes. And uh, my reaction to that, I, I re first, my first um, attempt at um, not being bullied was to become a puppy. I was really cute. Mm -hmm. That if they don't feel like beating me up, they won't. If I'm cute, they won't. But I got beaten up more because they didn't feel any threat from me. Because I can. Yeah. <laughs> I said, dude, this is not working out. I tried fighting. That didn't work out. I was very weak. These guys were always bigger. And more, through three of them. I was getting beaten up there. I said, this is worse. Then I realized, okay, I'm going to get um, people with me. So I got a gang. Gang means people like me who were fed up of being pushed around. You mean Rajiv? Rajiv was there, of course. Okay. And then, then others. And then we grew taller. So we posed a threat. This roadies persona that you see developed there. Okay. I became a, fuck, you dare think about messing with me. I'm thinner than you. I'm smaller than you. But I will be a psycho, man. Fuck, I will, there is a mm -hmm. potential of violence that I project without mm -hmm. being violent. So I did that. And when people call me a bully that, hey, he's the biggest bully, he bullies people on roadies. No, I always saw it as standing up to bullies. Whoever I was mm -hmm. doing that with was bullying somebody, was negating the, uh, the, uh, the rights of women or, or, uh, or homosexuals maybe or uh, another religion, a class, a caste, something they were saying that positioned them as a bully in front of me. And I have always uh, stood up to bullies, always uh, defended those who can't. I have, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not saying it as a noble thing, because I needed that for myself. It is something I cannot not do. My political activism when I did, it was against, when Ahmadmi Party was formed, I was uh, an active, person there who was helping um, uh, campaign. But it was more against the big parties who were I saw as bullying civil society. Mm -hmm. Remember after the uh, uh, Anna Hazare thing, uh, uh, fast they said, uh, Sir, aap, uh, anshan tor do, hum aapka wo lokpal bill pass kar denge. Uh -huh. Do you remember that? Uh -huh. yeah. He did it. Then yeah. three months later, they came and he said, this is a toothless tiger. There is nothing here. And there's... Mm -hmm. They turned around and said, Yay, yeah. Laws are not made in parks. If you want to change the law, fight elections, come to parliament, then we'll talk. Do you remember this? Yes. That is a bully talking to uh, this thing. And that is when I said, fuck this shit. Mm. I quit my job. A lot of things. I just, for five years, that's mm. all I did. Because that, again, for me, whether I believe in that ideology or not, that's a separate thing. 
But these guys are bullies. These guys are fucking these guys up. Yeah. And I had to stand with them. I had to. So yeah, yeah it is. It is a bully and against bullies kind of a, a, a sentiment that has defined me and my work in roadies at least. Yeah. Mm. No, I understand that you're mostly asked questions about roadies and uh, all of that. I don't know how you feel about it. Like I get pissed off, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. I was going to ask you a question about roadies. <laughs> That's okay. You are in no danger. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I found the most interesting about roadies was that not only were you seeing these guys, you also had a questionnaire that they had to fill up that had interesting questions, mm-hmm. right? That had like, that questioned them about their political beliefs, about their beliefs mm. on society. Mm-hmm. So you were not judging them at face value, but whatever the answers... I choose a little bit about Telugu. And I'll tell you why. I get that bet, I mean, I get better at it. Better. Yeah. For example. Mm-hmm. But I'm still going to go ahead with yeah, it. Yeah. Okay? If you don't want to say subtitles, okay? Telugu. <laughs> Uh, where was I? Yeah. Questionnaire. So, questionnaire. I have a feeling that Raghu sir and Raju sir, you have to choose your own people. Do you remember this, this yeah, sentiment yeah. about me? Yeah, yeah. That's a little illusion. That's an illusion. That's why I have done a lot of hard work. If you look at a duck, you can see it in the water. It's just floating. When I look at my face, it's furiously working. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, me, suppose I'm going to audition for an audition. I'm going to go to the line, go to the gate, go to the gate. Okay. I'm going to look at my team. There's a chest number in the room. There's a form. There's a form one. There's a form one. There's a chest number. I'm going to look at my walkies. This number is a little interesting. అక్కడి నుంచి మీరు ఒక గ్రూప్ డిస్కషన్ రూమ్కి వెళ్తారు అక్కడ మోడరేటర్స్ మా మా వాళ్ళు వాళ్ళు ఆల్రెడీ ఇఫ్ దేర్ ఇస్ సంబడీ హూస్ ఐదర్ గుడ్ ఆర్ బ్యాడ్ ఆర్ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ వాళ్ళకి చెప్పేస్తారు కీప్ అన్ ఐట్ అని లేకపోతే వాళ్ళు చూస్తారు గ్రూప్ డిస్కషన్లో మీ బిహేవియర్ ఎలా ఉంది మీరు అందరినీ కొడుతున్నారా అగ్రెసివ్గా అన్నారా జోక్ చేస్తున్నారా ఏం చేస్తారు అవి నోట్ అవన్నీ అయిపోతాయి మీ ఫామ్ మా దగ్గర ఉంటుంది తర్వాత మా విజే వెళ్ళి మాట్లాడతారు కూడా మీ మీ మీతో పాటు మీరు సెలెక్ట్ అయితే రాత్ సాయంత్రం కూర్చుని మేము అందరం వీ డిస్కస్ ఈచ్ పర్సన్ వాడి ఫామ్ ఉంటుంది నా దగ్గర ఫోటోగ్రాఫ్స్ ఉంటాయి వాడి రిపోర్ట్ ఉంటుంది వాట్ హీ హెస్ డన్ ఇన్ ద ఆర్ షీ హెస్ డన్ ఇన్ ద ఇన్ ద గ్రూప్ డిస్కషన్ అవన్నీ ఉంటాయి విజే మాట్లాడొచ్చి షీల్ టెల్ మీ హీల్ టెల్ మీ దట్ యు నో దిస్ ఇస్ మై ఒపీనియన్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ పర్సన్ సెకండ్ డే వస్తారు ఇంకో మచ్ మోర్ డీటెయిల్డ్ ఫామ్ ఉంటుంది ఆ ఫామ్ నా దగ్గర వస్తుంది ఐ హ్యావ్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ నేను ఇప్పటిదాకా నిమ్ కల్ మిమ్మల్ని కలవలేదు నేను కలవలేదు నువ్వు నన్ను కలవలేదు ఇంకా నువ్వు వచ్చావా నేనే ఐ ఆల్రెడీ నో లాడ్ అబౌట్ యూ నాకు నీ గురించి ఐ హ్ ఆల్రెడీ స్టార్టెడ్ ఫార్మింగ్ ఒపీనియన్స్ ఆఫ్ యూ అండ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ ఆల్రెడీ మేడ్ నోట్స్ ఈ ఫార్మ్స్ చదివితే కొంచెం ఇలాగున్నాడు అని లెట్ మీ ప్రోబ్ ఆన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఒక వీక్ పాయింట్ ఇది అనుకుంటా ఇక్కడ టచ్ చేస్తే ఏం చేస్తాడు చూద్దాం అవన్నీ నేను ఆల్రెడీ నోట్ చేసి కూర్చున్నా సో ఎస్ ఐ థింక్ ఎవరి గురించి అయినా కనుక్కోవాలంటే వాళ్ళ వ్యూస్ నాట్ జస్ట్ ద వ్యూస్ దట్ ద హ్యావ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద సోర్స్ ఆఫ్ దోస్ వ్యూస్ ఆర్ ఆల్సో ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఇఫ్ యూ ఆర్ స్టిల్ డిఫెండింగ్ వ్యూస్ దట్ హ్యావ్ యూ హెవ్ అన్క్వశ్చన్డ్ యువర్ టీచర్స్ అండ్ యువర్ పేరెంట్స్ దెన్ దాట్స్ అ సర్టన్ పర్సనాలిటీ టైప్ ఇట్స్ అ ఫాలోవర్ ఇఫ్ సంబడీ హ్యాస్ క్వశ్చన్ డెట్ దెన్ దాట్స్ అనదర్ డిఫరెంట్ పర్సనాలిటీ సో ఐ ఆమ్ ట్రాయింగ్ టు ప్రూవ్ ఆల్ దాట్ it has given me a lot of insight into human behavior indians especially mm-hmm. and uh, young indians uh, specifically mm-hmm. okay. mm. can if it's not ilaka i can see somebody and tell them although i can look at you and say that you're a virgin other than that it's not i'm not uh, that good at telling reading mm-hmm. people okay no i, I it's okay this, uh, being a virgin is bad enough but you're an in what's the word in in cell in what yeah <laughs> you are right clearly am i the only one who sees this no fuck do i look like an insult <laughs> no kidding no i used to always uh, have like so will a, will i if i were like does an insult get selected insult ain't even explain cheyandi mundu insult is like this i don't know like involuntary this. celibate oh involuntary celibate i thought it was an angry guy like no 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 okay, no okay. 
involuntary celibate, which means nobody wants to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> nobody. <laughs> so it's not a voluntary thing. You're not you're not celibate out of choice. Mm. Because you are rejected so much by the opposite sex, you end up hating women, mm -hmm. and it's a dangerous hate. In fact, there's an incel movement online, which is very violent, uses very violent rhetoric against women, because because of the way the women make them feel, because of the re way rejection makes them feel, mm -hmm. and that is another uh, thing I want to uh, you know is subject close to my heart, um, of fear of failure and and our relationship with uh, rejection, especially mm -hmm. for males. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's something I'd love to, you know, discuss. Anyway. Yeah, yeah no, let's talk about no, that. Yeah. Actually. Also, this thing, <laughs> the recent connection, why I, again I kind of connected with you after the Rodi's whole mm. uh, time, though I was um, maybe matured or still not completely matured, I don't know. Mm. But uh, the recent uh, Mencyclopedia which you started. Mm. So, I, that happened to Ipudo. I just heard the starting only, the uh, name uh, introduction mm. to the... The teaser. Uh, teaser. Uh, but I, I didn't end up listening to everything. But why that was, in, uh, uh, I connected to that was, uh, you want to talk about uh, what, you know, a vulnerable men mm. kind of, mm. because we don't get to express, <coughs> or we, we, we are not heard mostly, you know. Men are not <coughs> heard mostly. And Telugu <coughs> population low, I kind of uh, represent a very average Telugu guy. <coughs> How? What do you mean? Uh, <coughs> like, I, I suffer the, the big son issue. Being the elder son, in the the Kodku issue, and good I'm not boy, good boy syndrome. <laughs> good boy syndrome, and uh, I don't I'm, I don't <coughs> excel in everything. So best comparison on Telugu states law. Are you what just said? No, no, you can't do that. What pillar in the other pillar on naru? You clear. So that kind of one, na de. One of that son is mine. Ye <laughs> poala. <laughs> uh, so no, this, this comparison is very tough. Uh, but Pelchupul also. I, I wanted to uh, discuss with you one by one all of these uh, issues. Uh, if we can, like, you know, yeah, discuss. Chip, chip, discuss. Boy, I have one condition. Huh? Hmm. No filters. No filters. Don't hold back. No. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If this is not going to be a real conversation, then we're wasting everybody's time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, so I want to discuss the average, uh, the average Telugu guy with hmm. me who suffers from. I am also not heard much. I suffer the uh, comparison of being the best, being to the best. Mm. And I tell you, I have not excelled my. I have no 30th work, 30 years work, good, I was not settled. Mm. Settle of Ledra, no inka, Peliga ledu, Nikinka, the Pilla Leru, one Jud and the Naru. So that pressure is there on me. I don't know whether I'm good at one thing or I'm not good, but I know I'm, I'm local in the confidence. Undi. Mm. But Mundukochi, Adi Chapalante, Adoka insecurity, Oko Bayam, mm. because I don't have money balance to prove my uh, whatever I'm working or I'm, what I'm doing at right now. Mm. And it's a juice kunta, I don't have a girlfriend because a girl, the basic issue is like, Are you Gadam bench coach Kadaran? No, Gadam, are you not Rad by Gadam? What to do? <laughs> so, are you Wadla once your body bench coach Kadar? So, it's always the comparison to the best. So, let's so unpack what you've just said. No chapin nantlo oka qualification gurinch matalo kada. Ito engineering something comparison with others. Pedli bank balance gurinch matalo, get done gurinch matalo. These four things. Okay. Indu ko i naalup gurinch things gurinch matalo. No, ni ko they define success somewhere or manhood get done gurinch matalo ni. So do they do you equate that with being a man? So, an image on the man who is just that. Ideally, I engineering sector, the IT sector. Lo. Family, untundi. family, untundi. get down, untundi. bank balance, untundi. right? Are we lack pote? You're not a man. I am. No, no, no. I am another. Hmm. You don't think you are. You just sat down and complained about it. Oh. You just did. <clears throat> I want to change that perception. I want to change that. Ma, world law, what we are, our identity is what we do. A speed breaker on to me. Enter the speed break just on a speed breaker on Transmitter, receiver. Take anything, the name is what it does. Computer, 
anything mostly there mm. you know you should not adi manushul tod cheyakadu you should not define somebody by what they do nuvu podcast chestunnam ni family lo evarina anukunnara ichi cheddam ani if you నేను నువ్వు కంపేర్ చేస్తున్నావు యూ నువ్వు ఎప్పుడు ఎక్సెల్ అవ్వలేదు అన్నావు దెర్ ఇస్ అ సేయింగ్ ఇఫ్ యూ జడ్జ్ అ ఫిష్ బై ఇట్స్ అబిలిటీ టు క్లైమ్ అ ట్రీ ఇట్ విల్ స్పెండ్ ఇట్స్ ఎంటైర్ లైఫ్ థింకింగ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ టూ బెడ్ రైట్ యు ఆర్ నాట్ సపోజ్ టు డూ ఎనీథింగ్ దట్ యు ఆర్ నాట్ ఎక్సెల్ ఇన్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ బిల్డ్ టు బీ అన్ యాథ్లీట్ నన్ను మైకల్ ఫెల్ప్స్ తోటి కంపేర్ చేస్తే వాట్స్ ద పాయింట్ విరాట్ కోహ్లీని చూడరా నీకంటే యంగ్గా ఉన్నాడు ఎంత హీస్ రిచ్ హీస్ మ్యారీడ్ హీస్ ఈస్ గాడ్ అ డాటర్ ఏం సో షుడ్ ఐ కంపేర్ మైసెల్ టు దాట్ బట్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ దాట్ గాయ్ హీఈస్ నాట్ మీ వాడిని చెప్పు రోడ్ ఇచ్చేయమని హీస్ నాట్ మీ ప్లీజ్ టెల్ యువర్ ఫ్యామిలీ టు బ్యాక్ ఆఫ్ నేను తెలుగు వాళ్ళందరినీ చెప్తున్నాను ఇక్కడ ఇక్కడి నుంచి మొదలవుతుంది నా హేటర్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు బీ హ్యాపీ డిసోబే యువర్ పేరెంట్స్ Okay, let me rephrase that. If you want to be happy, do not obey your parents. The opposite of obedience is not disobedience. The opposite of obedience is independent thought. Think for yourself. Your parents don't know. They don't know what they know. One thing I will agree. When it comes to your career, my interest and my parents' interest are largely aligned. you both want you to be successful settled adi iddarki kavali kani yaar vaalla definition success di different oh naalgu engineering jo jobs kosam 400 people chesthe nu 401st person aithe you are a success according to they are vaalla ki adi taggutundi anxiety correct ha hmm. you've ruined your life you for you to be a success can i just konta time tisukochcha yeah yeah three things have to come together aptitude which is also passion um interest and hard work if these three you have two but not the third you can't be a success hard work undi aptitude undi interest ledhu you can't do it aptitude interest undi hard work undi aptitude ledhu no problem no problem no really batting chey you can't be virat kohli if you can't don't have the talent for it you have talent and interest but you don't work hard you can't be successful for you to work hard you have to have a passion and interest in what you're doing therefore you, the way you become successful in your career is different from how your parents imagine once you're successful they'll be happy but be ready to disappoint them you have to to be happy when it comes to your relationships your interests are not aligned most of the time they don't want you to be happy <laughs> no it's not most of the time they want you to marry somebody who f- checks all the boxes e caste e region e language e community veena classical dance bharatnatyam cooking etc kada if you find someone i'm happy with this girl can even you in live they they will object to it over there your happiness is not high in the list of priorities That's these things are veena bharatnatyam mirchi bajjis are hmm. above your happiness so uh, there you must disobey <laughs> you must follow your own heart according to me um unless you're an incel like him and somebody <laughs> <laughs> uh no the point i'm trying to make is uh do not be defined uh, do not allow society and family to define you according to their standards they don't know they ended up doing exactly what their parents wanted they will not understand you wanting to although while in their favor i'll say this they have also sacrificed their dreams and aspirations to give you a better life mm-hmm. stable life yeah understand and appreciate it uh but you are allowing you are you are a fish who is thinking of himself in terms of tree climbing ni gadan raadu raadu naaku juttu ledu aithe no i have accepted now no no accept ipparaga problem enduku 
I'm saying I was suffering. Ah, this. body ledu. Okay, so uh, I've accepted that. I, I've accepted and moved on. Ha, huh, but these are the things that still play on people's minds, huh. and and don't allow that to um, that to define you. Anyway, sorry, it's a long ass spiel about just nothing. <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to ask the next question. Which is what? <laughs> which is, as an incel. <laughs> no, I I want to ask like your thoughts on dating, right? Okay. Um, and especially dating from a Telugu guy's point of view, hmm. right? Mm. Because the biggest thing that drives Telugu culture, I feel, is cinema, right? Okay. And uh, in cinema, the heroes are a different kind, right? That is not natural. Mm. It's not. You can't get away with doing things like that in real life, right? Mm. What they do in the movies, mm. right? and then the difference is that in real life uh, i don't know if it's a stereotype but mostly telugu kids are shyer like it's not a boisterous uh -huh. out there culture and so there is that difference hmm. so what advice would you give to young telugu boys or young men who are kind of struggling with this dating like you know like how to approach a woman how to talk what is dating hmm. you know there are two things over here one is dating and one is popular culture we'll talk about popular culture later okay because that is a huge thing it is a huge thing and it and it's much deeper than just dating <laughs> uh firstly we have a boys have a problem with uh, rejection everybody has girls mm. also have it mark bhay bhay ante we petrified of it ante uh, if if we say she says no either we completely lose our self confidence or we become violent towards yeah. that person because revenge and matter mm. i think the world is now much simpler because with the dating apps and all it's it's rejection happens ipudu evantaru um stock no there's a word for it here in bulk kada 10 people you say 9 will say no 1 will say yes it's okay it's mm -hmm. i think rejection at that level is after you meet maybe it's better the biggest problem for telugu guys in um, for dating is uh, the culture and family these things i don't think families approve of it nen endukante if i was to i have been speaking to people about creating a dating reality show in telugu mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but the biggest thing is i don't think it's ready people are ready mm. to see women dating there is a stigma to it yeah am i that's right a, yeah yeah that's totally true and that is specific to this part i mean i mean it's not there in delhi it's not there in um, mumbai it's there in hyderabad am i right oh, no. it, it is, is true i mean it's not there in delhi and mumbai i'll tell you that from personal experience huh? <laughs> now i'll tell you how uh, in, in a small uh, like from the insider uh, one one note for this point so general ga when we go for pelu chupulu no uh pelichupul also i want to really fun i want to get your thoughts on it but next we'll come to it so pelichupul kelnapudu generally oka genuine interest if you find a girl now what you go only by the looks and then when you find her little interesting when you're talking a five minutes ichinapudu you would what you would want to talk for further 10 days or one week some or meet at least outside and then take a decision but uh, families le emuthunnadu sir if you want that girl's number tell yes to the marriage only then i'll give you number and all like are i find her interesting maybe i want to know little more is that wrong is is my question like letra atla opkoru vaala parents kuda opkoru like vaala opkokochu adugu amma ayina adugochu kada if she is also interested then okay fine share i'm not asking forcefully share her number nin neeku part ni maat cheptanu you have to shock your parents shock nin oka maat ippudu cheptanu ippar daaka evariki cheppaledu meeku cheptanu I was 26 years old. I said, "Rajiv said I want to get married to my girlfriend in college." While college local sir, he was 26, but they were they were dating for eight years already. As teenagers, they met. Mom said, "No, no." She is a Christian girl from Kerala. So, Oddu, my, Ila, my family lo, Abadu, etc., etc. A drama in there. నేనన్నాను అప్పుడు మేమిద్దరు ఉన్నాం కదా వీడి పెళ్లి చేసి నువ్వు చెప్పిన పెళ్ళితో నేను చేస్తా ఓకే సరే అంది వాడి పెళ్ళి అయిపోయింది 
ఇప్పుడు నేను కూర్చున్నాను నాకు భయం ఇంటికి వెళ్ళాలంటే ఫోటోలు రావడం వల్ల అయిపోయాయి నేను బెడ్ నుంచి లేస్తే ఇక్కడ బయోడేటాలు ఫోటోలు ఉన్నాయి వాళ్ళు కూడా నాతో మాట్లాడటం లేదు దేవుడు వాళ్ళు అది అలా దెన్ ఐ సెట్ ఓకే ఇప్పుడు నేను నా మీద వస్తున్నారు చాలా చాలా ఐ హ్యావ్ టు హిట్ బ్యాక్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు పుష్ బ్యాక్ అమ్మ వచ్చింది ఏంట్రా ఎందుకు వై ఆంట్ యూ మీటింగ్ అని వన్ అంటే సరే నేను మాట విను డోంట్ లుక్ ఫర్ అ వైఫ్ ఫర్ మీ లుక్ ఫర్ సంబడి హూ లివ్ విత్ మీ ఫర్ వన్ ఇయర్ దాని తర్వాత ఇఫ్ షీ సేస్ ఎస్ అండ్ ఐ సే ఎస్ విల్ గెట్ మ్యారీడ్ నో అంటే ఆబ్వియస్లీ వై దాట్స్ నాట్ డీసెంట్ ఐ సే దాట్స్ సెన్సిబుల్ దట్ సెన్సిబుల్ నువ్వు కార్ కూడా కొన్నావు కదా ట్రై టెస్ట్ డ్రైవ్ తీసుకుని నువ్వు ఒక మీటింగ్లో ఎలా డిసైడ్ చేస్తావు ట్యాక్సీ అయితే హౌ మెనీ వైఫ్స్ అమ్మ గుడ్ హ్యావ్ నాకు నచ్చకపోతే దానికి నచ్చకపోతే నో షిస్టాక్ ఎందుకంటే నీకు ఫోన్ నెంబర్ ఇవ్వడానికి నీకు ప్రాబ్లం అందుకని యు హ్యావ్ రూయిండ్ యువర్ డాటర్స్ లైఫ్ హౌ డూ యూ నో వాట్ ఐ యామ్ హౌ డ షీ నో తెలియదు కదా నా ఆ అంత అవి వెళ్ళాక ఆఫ్టర్ దాట్ నేను ఏమన్నా ఇట్స్ బెటర్ కదా ఇట్స్ నాట్ యాజ్ బ్యాడ్ వాట్ ఐ సెడ్ అర్థమైంది కదా వన్స్ ఐ సే సంథింగ్ షాకింగ్ వాళ్ళు దట్ బికమ్స్ అ న్యూ నార్మల్ ఇప్పుడు నేను నెక్స్ట్ టైం కాదు నేను ఇలా కలను నేను బయట కలుస్తాను చెప్పు అంటే ఓకే అంటారు లేకపోతే ఎస్ యూ డిఫైన్ ద కాన్వర్సేషన్ అండ్ దాట్ లెవెల్ అనమాట చెప్పే నేను చెప్తున్నాను మీ 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 అమ్మ నాన్న ఏడవాలి నిన్ను చూసి ఏడవాలి నేను ఏమైపోయిందిరా నీకు అలా అలా అవ్వాలి నువ్వు అప్పుడే నువ్వు హ్యాపీ అవుతావు అప్పుడే యువర్ హ్యాపీ యువర్ పేరెంట్స్ విల్ బీ హ్యాపీ రైట్ ఇట్స్ యువర్ జాబ్ టు మేక్ యువర్ పేరెంట్స్ హ్యాపీ యూ విల్ డూ దాట్ బై బికమింగ్ హ్యాపీ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ యువర్ జాబ్ నాట్ యువర్ పేరెంట్స్ జాబ్ టు మేక్ యూ హ్యాపీ యూ ప్లీజ్ డూ యూ మీ అమ్మ నాన్నకి నేను ఎక్కడ ఉంటానని చెప్పద్దు డిడ్ ఐ మేక్ సెన్స్ టు యూ దోట్లీ ఐ డిడ్ ఇట్ మై సెల్ఫ్ సో దట్స్ హౌ ఐ నో ఐమ్ పుషింగ్ మై పేరెంట్స్ ఇన్ దాట్ డైరెక్షన్ ఓన్లీ నో వన్స్ గవర్నమెంట్ సే లుక్ ఫర్ అ గుడ్ బాయ్ ఫ్రమ్ అ గుడ్ ఫ్యామిలీ ఫర్ మీ దాని తర్వాత ఏం చెప్పినా ఓకే అంటారు నేను చెప్తున్నా డూ ఎట్ స్కేర్ దెమ్ అమ్మ నేను వెళ్తున్నాను రెండో సెటప్ ఉంది అక్కడ డిన్నర్ చేసి వస్తా అలా చెప్పు రెండు మూడు మాటలు చెప్పు చేస్తారు లైక్ టేక్ మై అడ్వైస్ బడి చెప్పు భయపెట్టు భయపెట్టు వీడు ఏదో చేసేస్తున్నాడు ఏదో చేసేస్తాడు అలా అనిపించు దాని తర్వాత నీ మాట వింటారు పెళ్లిచూపులు లైక్ ట్రెడిషన్ ఇస్ వెరీ స్కేరీ సార్ ఆఫ్ ఐ మీన్ it is see I'll, i'll tell you okay i think it should be updated also now of course ila enduku avutundi according to you okay let me talk to you about pelli chupulu and then equate it with religion and these are just two examples expressions of a mindset the mindset samjho uh, it's a traditionalist conservative mindset dating eppudu undedi kadu చిన్నప్పుడు పెళ్లి చేసేవాళ్ళు చిన్నప్పుడు పెళ్లి చేస్తే దే విల్ గోయింగ్ టు బికమ్ సంబడి ఎల్స్ కదా ఇప్పుడే పెద్ద అవ్వలేదు వాళ్ళు ఎలా అవుతారు నీకు తెలీదు స్వీట్గా అవుతారా కోపం వస్తుందా చాలా అది మీకు తెలీదు హౌ డూ యూ ప్రొజెక్ట్ హౌ ఇస్ దిస్ పర్సన్ గోయింగ్ టు బీ ది ఓన్లీ వే యూ కెన్ హ్యావ్ అన్ ఇల్యూషన్ ఆఫ్ కమ్ ఆఫ్ కంట్రోల్ ఈజ్ జాతకం వీడు పెద్ద అయ్యాక ఇలా అవుతాడు ఇది పెద్ద అయ్యాక ఇలా అవుతుంది వీళ్ళిద్దరు కలిస్తే బాగుంటుంది వీళ్ళిద్దరు కలిస్తే బాగుండదు ఓకే అప్పుడు ఒకరిద్దరిని ఒకరినొకరు పరిచయం చేసే ప్రసక్తి లేకున్న టైంలో దిస్ వాజ్ ది ఓన్లీ వే ఇట్ కుడ్ హ్యాపన్ దిస్ వాజ్ ద బెస్ట్ వే పాసిబుల్ ఫర్ దెమ్ సొసైటీ దట్ అలౌడ్ ఇట్స్ నా ఇట్స్ అ షిట్ వే యాక్చువల్లీ ఇట్స్ అ బుల్ షిట్ వే స్టార్స్ డూ నాట్ ఎఫెక్ట్ యువర్ లైఫ్ అస్ట్రాలజీ ఇస్ బుల్ షిట్ బట్ దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ వీ బేస్ అవర్ లైఫ్స్ ఆన్ ఆన్ లైఫ్ పార్ట్నర్ అది అయిపోయిందా నౌ when there are apps where you right swipe left swipe chesi you can have you can see each other naked even before you meet appudu kuda jaatha gan chudnam enti ippudu reason led kada society has changed technology has taken over 
then why are you looking at that similarly religion is also the expression is the same it it originated to answer a few basic questions who are we why are we here what will happen after we die where did we come from why is there suffering why am i suffering what's the point okay there's a invisible sky dad he sees you he made you he made everything who made that he made it i don't know how water came he must have made it why is the tree green i don't know god made it okay what will happen after that you'll go to a better place oh but why am i living such a shit life last birth you were a, you're an asshole okay all right that makes sense now science has answered all of this you do not need any of this to explain the origin of life or evolution or anything like that right but still we will stick to it a lot of scientists rocket scientists isro mangalyan velle mundu pempe mundu pooj chestaru anta anta schizophrenic uh, because of conditioning understand this uh, that we have this disease in us this disease of wanting to cling to how things were done in the past okay but things need to be jolted shaken up for any change to happen and it's never easy you will be the bad guy but your coming generations will thank you so uh, i think dating is very important yeah. i think people need to get to know each other and you don't have to marry every girlfriend every boyfriend it's okay with every failed relationship you learn something about yourself i'm i have gone through a divorce and i think i'm i'm my my wife thanks me for it <laughs> because uh because i'm a better husband now it taught me a lot of things right so i really feel that uh our social conditioning for youth should thoda relax i think lot of problems are happening this is what happened with me in delhi nenu intlo good uh, good boy syndrome telugu vaadni byte ki vaste the world is different very delhi punjabi very different you know that was the kind of weird uh, double world i was living in similarly over now the kids intlo idi jatakalu byte mo right swipe left swipe lu they don't know who they are what to do there are feelings of shame guilt and confusion associated with it it's happening it's going to happen hopefully i don't fall into that virginity gurinchi maatladadam koncham nen marchipoyan right it's been so long <laughs> <laughs> yours has grown back sorry <laughs> so like virginity is an interesting concept right because like girls are shamed for not being virgin and guys mm. are shamed for being a virgin <laughs> yeah. it is like do you know why i don't know i'm i'll tell you <clears throat> in the days before dna testing the only way to ensure paternity was a virgin wife mm-hmm. that is why mm-hmm. in some cultures vallu swahagra tarvata white bed sheet ni bite correct recently one reel also got famous so. yeah. the only way you can be 100% sure this son is yours is if you are the only one man she has mated with does that make sense to you now mm. it does right mm. the universe dna wants to replicate itself society regulates the replication mm. through marriage through this thing without that everybody would want to you know dna wants to replicate itself we've established that even if a insect has a 24 hour life cycle it will fuck before it dies mm. yeah. all right there are <laughs> black widow spider that guy is fucking dying while he's fucking <laughs> he's coming and going at the same time <laughs> they do it yeah because dna wants to replicate itself now uh that is why men are encouraged to impregnate more women are encouraged to be with one man because so that the paternity because society is is a patriarchal society the foundation of it is patrilinear patriarchal and it is important for the girl to be a virgin for that that is why religion society morality regulates and uh, completely like closely monitors a woman's virginity it's bullshit women it's bullshit you can rupture a hymen by cycling fuck it yeah you know yeah. somebody fuck him <laughs> <laughs> and what about the men who are not getting fucked like mm. what is the shame <coughs> there is a shame in that there's a yeah. shame in that obviously yeah. like yeah. even women feel bad if you know i mean it's not the best thing nobody wants to have sex with you 
यार आई थिंक इवन टू गेट अ जॉब यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम समबडी दैट दे वॉन्ट टू हायर राइट इफ यू आर नॉट हैप्पी विथ हु यू आर फॉरगेट द फैक्ट दैट यू आर नॉट हैविंग अ सेक्स लाइफ बट इफ यू नॉट हैप्पी विथ हु यू आर चेंज समथिंग चेंज समथिंग डोंट जस्ट सिट देर सेंग हे मैन हाइमन मैटर्स डोंट से लाइक दैट राइट आई थिंक एनी एनीबडी पीपल हु आर नॉट हैविंग सेक्स well Absolutely. you are you might as well be married for <laughs> <laughs> them it is uh, i'm joking uh, arrange marriage is a way yeah it it is like that software definition uh, like software uh, employees uh, definition so when a soft, whenever uh, new joinees come into an office so the hr asks uh, we are taking only experienced people <laughs> like are what the fuck how are you going <laughs> to get the experience if you don't <laughs> so even like i think uh, many five years boys. experience for an entry level job <laughs> yeah so guys guys are also i think judged on that unique experience on that no do you think sex is important yeah, yeah definitely okay i th- i think sex is natural uh there is a lot in rudy's auditions we used to there was one question in the group discussion we used to put it there should we have condom vending machines in college right do you remember this question yeah this yeah. used to be big fights every year every no, we go to we go to college to study yeah. not to have sex so you, there's a canteen mm mm-hmm. you go to college to study not to eat kada but you have a canteen mm akale se tintao why the fuck no you are spoiling a generation are we are not giving you girls to have sex with And if yeah. you have a girl and you're going to have sex with her then please be yeah. safe yeah adi anto now ladke uska gubbara bana ke phulayenge so tujhe kya how does it teri gaan kyun phati agar ek condom phul gaya to so what these are the kind of arguments you're going to give come on <coughs> again traditionalist conservative i just think that's a stupid way to live your life and i think sex is natural it's happening and it is better to accept it and take steps to i'm not saying i'm not saying people should have sex with our teenagers and all i'm not saying that i'm saying there are people who are doing it make sure they don't get pregnant make sure they don't get sexually uh, transmitted diseases that's what i'm saying and uh, i think sex is normal it's natural there is we have made too much uh, shame and pressure and and too many intense feelings associated with it when i lost my virginity yes i'm going to go there yeah, yeah. <laughs> i was very disturbed i actually came back I, it was on a trip somewhere and i was start i had work, i started working i went to office for for a week i felt so bad so i was my heart was heavy I thought, man, I have what I have done. I have, have I ruined my life? Have I ruined her life? Should I, should I be getting married to her now? I what? Oh my God! I couldn't think. I was so, and you know what? It was. I was just. Am I afraid of sex? That's what I was thinking. Am I scared of sex? Well, there was so much already inculcated in me. So much intensely that I couldn't handle it. None of us, none of us can. We are no, we are not. <coughs> School lo trigonometry chep neer taru. Wada wada. When was the last time you fucking used it? <laughs> huh? Algebra, trigonometry, and all this calculus. They don't teach us to taxes. They don't teach us about mental health. They don't teach us about uh, sexual health. There are there is a regulation against it. You say uh, sex education is a joke. So they are not preparing us for life. They should be. They should be. But if you tell parents, hey, send them. We're teaching them about sex. <gasps> You're making our kids sluts. No, yeah. we're not educating them about religion. Doesn't make me a fucking pundit, no. Mm-hmm. This attitude is. I'm so sorry. I, your your viewers are gonna hate me. They'll be like, "This guy is just <laughs> the voice of doom. He hates everything." <laughs> According to him, I'm a loser. <laughs> no, no, no. That's fine. No, can we talk about uh, the other thing about being an atheist? Mm. Right. You are openly an atheist. I think we uh, more atheists should be open about it. I am. Yeah. For a reason. i want to my my uh, twitter bio is said it my wife just made me change it but i just said atheist rationalist happy that was my uh, mm-hmm. this thing mm-hmm. the happy was just to push piss people off yeah. <laughs> 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 because i'm happy they get pissed off mm. 
when when successful people people that you look up to come out of the closet as homosexual it normalizes somewhere Correct. or other homosexuals or people who have confusion related to their sexuality they feel they feel less there's some comfort there i know most people religion spirituality once you question it it's a, it unravels really fast it doesn't make sense so i am out there openly as an atheist to tell people it's okay being being coming out to your family as atheist can be a tra- traumatic experience similar to in the in the manner of coming out to your family as homosexuals i have seen videos where people are doing that the mom, mom mother is crying hurling things you're going to die in hell and this that the other i told my dad something he was saying go to the temple i said dad you know i'm an atheist he said no you're not i said uh, uh, say what <laughs> you're not an atheist i said why do you say that i am i am such a big uh, you know religious guy how can you be atheist <laughs> and i love my dad he passed away 2 years ago and he's uh, my best friend but even now uh but that was one thing i said okay i'm not going to have this conversation with him it is a thing it is a thing so yeah your question about atheism was was like in a country that is actually in a world that is quickly going to the right to the right yeah mm. right mm-hmm. um like i remember maybe 10 15 years ago people would just call themselves atheist more openly now you are a little guarded at least i am a little more guarded about saying these things because i feel like when you say you're an atheist you piss everybody off across the spectrum you must have you asked yourself why why what why why the fact that i do not uh r- telepathically communicate with your sky dad hmm. why does it piss him off why did you you just said a statement hmm. and i agree with it hmm. you haven't asked yourself why why is it have you asked yourself why i think, think I don't know. I mean, I've not think. thought about it. I can think, think, yeah. Think I can with me. fashion a guess. Go ahead. I think it is because a concept of God and religion is so like fundamental to their existence, their understanding of the world. Somebody coming and dismissing it off as fiction or like non-existent maybe probably shakes them up. Probably, yeah. maybe is that it why it does it is? more than shake them up? Hmm. It threatens their worldview. It hmm. threatens their, uh, in a way, their self-identity. It threatens. a very at a very fundamental level their life um but you still friends with people who are of other religions a lot of people are okay with people of other religions but not with atheists yeah mm. you are an enemy number 1 man mm, yeah that's true so. because science and evidence is the op- hinduism is not the opposite of muslim islam is actually very similar to islam uh, to christianity the opposite of faith is evidence it is actually so religions are not actually ideologically opposed to each other they have the they have the same process the belief ends up in a different thing but they yeah. are they are yeah. operating yeah. in the same manner yeah. that's true an atheist operates in a different manner that is the, the it is the enemy of faith when you say faith have faith without evidence and we say no we don't there's no evidence you have made a claim the burden of proof lies on you you have not met that burden of proof there is no evidence i don't believe that there is a, this thing based on the evidence as of now you can't argue with me that is what and there is a book called um, coeconomics coeconomics mm-hmm. and it was um, interesting studies that were done across the world and it uh, ex- it kind of explained superstition this way they went to this island which had uh, uh, fishermen they used to go fishing in shallow waters as well as deep sea sometimes they'd go deep sea there were rituals that they did before they went for sh- for fishing so there'd be one little offering of sweet that they'll put in front of their tree god or whatever deity that they would do and uh, pray and they'd leave but when they were going deep sea it was much more elaborate they would give coconuts maybe an animal sacrifice you know stuff like that they would it was elaborate havan types <clears throat> why because fundamentally the world is a terrifying place we do not understand it we do not have control over it a lightning can strike us and we can die there can be a forest fire there can be a flood a tsunami can come you can do nothing you can do nothing how do you how do you live in a place which is so hostile to life to your life so you you invent something that well you don't think you've invented it but that's fundamentally what you've done you say i'm going to do something that i can tell my convince myself that i exercise some control i have given this coconut to the god i am safe nothing will happen otherwise it's terrifying to fucking go into the deep sea 
you don't know if you're coming back mm-hmm. right now how i'm linking this back to uh what we were talking about is it is when you tell them that this is bullshit you are terrifying them you are making them so scared because any sense of control they have on their life basis this goes ni ja tak hum astrology is bullshit now you don't have a control on who the fuck i'm marrying right e the manchi muhurta there's no such thing as manchi muhurta oh fuck what is a muhurta it's just wanting to feel in control right i have done the that's what it is that is what religion is that is why atheism is such a courageous position it is courage it takes away it takes away the crutch of uh uh a happy place with a invisible sky dad later on in life you don't know it is a terrifying thing what happens if this comp- this is only one life is a one time event there's no after life there's no next birth it's terrifying but to still have it christopher hitchens is is one of my heroes um world famous atheist very mm-hmm. like a uh, aggressive one at that mm-hmm. he's also an anti theist like mm-hmm. me um he wrote a book called first he wrote a book called god is not great how religion poisons everything you should read it he mm-hmm. makes a excellent case then he got cancer he was a big he used to drink a lot drink a lot a lot a lot obviously cancer and he was dying and that's when everybody said at least now mm. you should uh, yeah. repent and and because then you'll go heaven so he said no and he wrote a book called mortality on the experience of dying as an atheist and he didn't complete the book he died before he finished it it's published i have it it's amazing oh. it's fucking awesome there is something called pascal's wager pascal's wager have you heard of it no no pascal's wager says maybe there's a god maybe there's no god suppose you say there's no god and you die and there's no god no harm no foul no problem correct mm. suppose you say there's no god but there is a god mm-hmm. you're fucked mm. you're in hell for eternity so in that if you don't know it's safer to believe rather than to not that's pascal's wager pascal is the guy who we still read in classrooms he is the father of uh, probability okay mm-hmm. the law of probability is oh, pascal's pascal. okay huh. right mm-hmm. pedro pascal i think no no pedro mm-hmm. pascal is the is the actor yeah. uh, fuck anyway uh, google. yeah google it please pascal's wager that is destroyed by christopher hitchens and other other any any logic will destroy it because there are a million gods there are a few thousand religions that have existed the chance that you are the one that, the odd the probability of that is exceedingly small so mm. it's better to not believe than to believe in a different god because <laughs> you get fucked anyway so yeah. pascal's wager is also a reason it is to give you comfort it is not you are not living your life in the here and now you are moral because you think later on you'll benefit from it you are not evil because you you think you might be punished for it those are stupid pussy fucking uh, philosophies mm-hmm. according to me mm-hmm. and i use the word pussy with deep respect okay. who's that <coughs> pascal's wager <coughs> what's the name blaise blaise pascal blaise pascal he's the father of probability and he was also a, a, like a deeply religious man so he took his two um passions religion and probability and came up with pascal's wager that's a chart yeah it's an egg i have always felt that i could be wrong but people who believe in religion and god generally mm. are in some way at peace because there is nothing to mm. debate over you know what i mean there's nothing to think for yourself and arrive yeah. at a truth mm. and do you, you agree s- with w- that would you say the same thing about people in north korea would you say the same thing about propaganda people in uh, russia in uh, russia mm. would you say the same thing if, if debate is not the most important thing how are you living your life how are you accepting whatever bullshit they are going to shove down your throat hmm. what kind of peace is it when they say that you have to do this you can't do this because that and you have to be okay with it your your you are propagating for unquestioning submission and that is the death of the 
self of the intellect it is the worst thing you can do to yourself mm-hmm. unquestioning obedience to your parents to your teachers to your elders to your uh, preachers is wrong nem telugu lo cheptanu evar mata vinaddu do not obey your elders think for yourself adigo na ok ippudu nunchi hyderabad lo entry band i'm okay with it man i'm actually comfortable being disliked because if if people like that start liking me or are even indifferent to me then i will reevaluate my life choices <laughs> so you mean uh, by being an atheist uh, you don't we don't i mean you don't mean to be an asshole to the theist like i want to ask a difference between atheist and anti theist okay, you're saying hold on, hold on hold on anti theist i'll tell you about that religious and religion has been an asshole to everybody from the inception of time aaj bhi jai shri ram bol ke logo ke dukane tod rahe hain jala rahe hain logo people are being beaten up they are taking videos of it jai shri ram jai shri ram bol ke that's being an asshole right it is so uh, uh, in in the global context there is a spanish inquisition there is a uh, witch hunt there is all kinds of uh, galileo was thrown in prison for suggesting a heliocentric universe rather than a geocentric universe because you understand if the earth is not the then what has god created right yeah. mm-hmm. it again he was thrown in prison galileo yeah. mm-hmm. what's his name apna there's another guy big guy he waited till he was in his deathbed before he he uh, announced his his world view the next guy is it copernicus because copernicus. he was in copernicus uh, he was exactly. in house arrest for like 10 exactly. years exactly yeah, exactly yeah. copernicus and he before he waited till he was dying before he which was what, what was he said anyway i'll come to it now religion when it had the power was the biggest asshole in the world they killed anybody who did not conform to their exact teaching they killed them brutally they imposed a morality religion that did that posed a threat to anybody who had a different life or a different thought mm-hmm. so let me please establish one thing religion is the asshole and he is atheist pointing it out doesn't make him an asshole but it's perceived that way that's why so fuck the perception yeah. and show th- if if you say uh, you know this is what happens in america you're teaching something called crt critical race theory okay people don't know over there what it is they are trying to legislate usa is trying to legislate not teaching critical race theory because they say our, that is racist do you understand the fuck up here teaching kids about slavery is racist therefore don't teach ignorance is their friend so no pointing out uh, 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 the assholish behavior of religion is not being an asshole it is what is required it is of course the religious majority is going to perceive that as a as, as an assholish thing because i'm telling you you are a chuth you are live with it no disrespect to yeah. chuths man i keep saying this <laughs> word uh no please we are going to come continue to do it and laugh at the ridiculousness of those fucking claims each of those do you know there is a there is a law against offending religious sentiments what a stupid law that is what a stupid law that is you can have freedom of speech but you can't offend you offense is taken i am an atheist your god doesn't exist now you are offended now i have committed a fucking crime i am a criminal chutes now again this i am not representing atheists well this is not an atheist uh, passion it is an anti theist passion mm-hmm. many atheists are not anti theist and they're welcome to that i i my atheism is a religion uh, religious and evidence based uh, perception anti theist is a social and an historic kind of uh, it's based in society and socio economical and historic conditions those are two different things please don't get confused atheists are not angry anti theists are pissed off with the uh, tyranny of religion mm-hmm. historical mm-hmm. and w- what do you say about agnostics agnostics are pussies 
No I call myself. <laughs> I call myself. <laughs> no, you know why? I'll give you a reason why. <coughs> it is like you are just so tired of debating yeah, yeah. every that day. That is what is a pussy. Chew. Yeah, but you're like, you're a pussy. You're just fucking lazy. <laughs> I'm fucking lazy. What is your position? No, is there this... according to wait? Are you using evidence to uh, uh, to measure, to quantify, and to evaluate the existence of a creator god or not? Are you going with faith? I'm not. not right so you're not an uh, atheist you're not an agnostic you are a religious person you are holding on to the crutch of of that comfort of a, of a nice afterlife and oh ant mein jeet kuch bhagwan ke ghar dher hai andher nahi hai all this bullshit hey, no 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 wait But sorry the, i got the question wrong i don't believe in that i meant like wait wait are you do you do you use evidence as a matrix of evaluation yes you do yes. and you're an atheist no okay right, right. Reframe, I mean, reframe. Do you say that I will whether on the question of whether there is an exist uh, God exists or not, mm -hmm. I am going to believe it. It's my faith that there is. Mm. Or do you say I'm? I need evidence for it. What do you say? Evidence. Then you are an atheist. Why the fuck do you call yourself an agnostic? That is the exact the definition of the atheist position. That. there is a burden of proof that burden of proof has not been met as of now there is no evidence of the, mm. of any creative god creator god especially one that is moral yeah okay and you are legislating on the basis of that mm. so you're not an agnostic you that's a pussy position where you say well again don't like all the pussies out there don't <laughs> don't get offended no there's no law against offending pussies <laughs> thankfully but, but look at it no yeah. i mean because you're you're you would rather not have that debate you would rather and that's what i'm saying debate is essential rudy's auditions we first time we talked about things without any regulation it's man to man you know just street and that's something that really caught fire with people because we are not allowed to talk we are not allowed to question questioning is seen as disrespectful disrespectful you have disrespected your elders why is question what kind of a society treats questions as disrespecting something it's a society that is scared of of the facts of what those questions will unearth what the answers will have to probe into but you know there is one level of bullying that goes on of atheists hmm. right like um of course when you say it there is a voice and you know it is you saying it but for like the kid who is in late teens early 20s has just is like you know flirting with these ideas of questioning religion and atheism the kind of bullying that goes of on course. on all levels look man uh, see our society is culture is set up uh, it needs to at one level be uh, homogeneous it needs to conform things need to move a certain way that's why when two different cultures meet there has historically been a conflict <laughs> जानवरों में भी ना कोई अलग से जा रहा हो तो उसको सब पकड़ के ऐसे ले आते हैं सोसाइटी बट एज एंडिविजुअल सो देर इज अ प्रेशर टू कन्फर्म एंड टू मेक योर लव वर्ड लव वर्स कन्फर्म ऑल्सो बिकॉज otherwise you might be excommunicated and abandoned and your that is how we have evolved so it's there yeah we do get bullied anybody who's different homosexuals atheists women just for not being a religious right wing man you will be mis uh, ill treated bullied so from your childhood you've been uh, uh, an atheist or it kind of gradually not grew at all then? Oh, no no i was born i was born into a brahmin household mm. and uh, there was a, my urugu happened the fucking four days mm. i'm still traumatized by it uh no 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 man my very 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 my family built a temple in bandar in masli patnam and all that oh. my father's very very religious everybody in my family is uh but it's so stupid the idea of god it's so stupid i mean how can people not question it well i for me it's just once you question it then it un, a it's a balloon it's a bubble you poke one hole in it pop it pops there's nothing that holds it up yeah true 
You've lost half your subscribers, huh, by the way. By now. <laughs> no, I think uh, it's fine. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. I don't think so. Our subscribers are like, just because uh, they are also accommodative. They will, uh, uh, they know you and also they will respect uh, uh, these views. <laughs> He's got to... Oh! Hey. Don't tell me it's the Avengers logo. I will kick you. <laughs> I will kick you with my left foot. Uh, is That's the international a symbol for atheists. atheists. Oh. So I I have a. I'm flaunting it for your people because I I telling you, it's okay. You don't need to be ashamed of it. You don't need to be scared. <coughs> You're seeing the tattoo, I have a peace tattoo on my nape. So my workers call it a Ben symbol. Ananik Ben than devised. Mm. You don't have a tattoo? No, man. <laughs> I'm little like... I will get one when I... Like, I fully Do you have a girlfriend? It. Not right now. Many. I'm just, to, I'm just trying to figure out your... Go ahead. Yeah. You can... No, I'm... I'm uh, like, like, it's a dream come true, man, to be questioned. Can, like, yeah. really? I'm not... <laughs> it's like I'm not even kidding. Please, go ahead. Like, I want to... You... Why you you have a sweet boy syndrome? I'm guessing you are um, you were also bullied as a kid. Am I right? To not much. some extent. Not much. Not much. Not much. You are timid. You have not really. You have your intellect points you in one direction, but you do not follow it because you want don't want to ruffle feathers. You want to keep the boat. You don't want to rock the boat. You don't. And in fact, that has held you back in your life quite a bit. You have not gone after what you want. There is at least one thing romantically and one thing career-wise that you have not done because you don't think it would be okay. Am I right? Yeah. Hmm. But you should. I think you should go for it. Call that girl right now. <laughs> <laughs> Caller, let me talk. Afraid those bridges have been burnt. Arey, come on. <laughs> Be a man. <laughs> kar, kar, kar. Now, if you want her, if you want her, call her. Fuck the bridges that have been burnt. Airdrop. <laughs> As in, sometimes the choices are not with her. I mean, it has to be. No, a, no, no, no. Arey, has to just be a two-way do street. A, do a yagna. Do some. <laughs> put put <laughs> some. Uh, uh, offer a coconut or something. Yeah. There's some, there's some something that will happen. You like, start believing in God already. again. Yeah. You know? yeah. Kar kuch. Maybe Sky Daddy can help me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I ask another uh, question? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is, uh, and uh, this is an inherently Telugu issue that I feel Telugu people face more than other uh, cultures in India, if I can use that word, mm. which is the issue of caste. Mm. Right? Now, caste is ingrained into our culture in a strange, it is. poisonous way in the sense that I used to think 10, 15 years ago that capitalism would solve that problem, right? That okay. urbanization, people coming, earning money, living together will solve that problem. No, but pe people dig into their positions even more, actually. Yeah, so even <laughs> in corporate offices... In the US, especially, yeah, like, uh, this is still pertaining. Like, Telugu guys will go to the US and still follow the caste. They'll actually follow it more. Yeah. Because uh, adhering to that way of life makes them feel connected to uh, to India. Or to... Yeah. So that's why they, there's nobody more Indian than NRIs, they say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah they're Really? Fun. They're in a time warp. Having yeah. said that, yeah. What, what, what did you want to talk about? So, caste? I want to talk about, like, how... What would you say to, like... Telugu youngsters who are still fighting with that idea of mm. caste, which to me is even more illogical than religion, right? If you think about mm -hmm. it, it is... Mm -hmm. uh, so why so, why do you think there is caste? This is uh, also like that problem which you're saying. At one point of time, it was used to maybe, you know, group It is their... a way of organizing society. Uh, it is not the way. It uh -huh. is a way. Uh -huh. And it's it's a way that, that became successful. I'm not saying good. Hmm. It it worked because it it conquered society as a concept. But why was it there? I think I think there was a need to assign roles. Yeah, right? back then, yeah, uh, the warriors were. Do you realize that uh, for any 
any system no you you need to see who it benefits for example our college systems uh, is not geared towards finding the most interesting most suck, uh, the best people they are aimed at people who can score the most marks it's actually aimed to create teachers more than because they are highly unemployable by the time they come out the industry doesn't want them they are not qualified actually mm. but they are qualified to teach so you know that it's made by teachers for teachers caste system is clearly made by upper class caste males because that is what it uh, who that is who benefits from it in our in caste it's brahmins right do you know that killing a brahmin is the biggest crime yeah killing a cow and killing a brahmin mm. why is it a crime because they defined they it that it. they defined it <laughs> at that time they're dealing with kshatriyas and hot tempered kings <laughs> with swords fucking you know what i'm saying mm. i want to win this war i want the famine to end do this puja i've done the puja famine as an end it cut it <laughs> brahman hatya is the biggest crime they have said it mm. right gau hatya and brahman hatya kuch bhi karna you want success feed 10 brahmins mm. right all your important functions are officiated by the by them. they are the brokers of between you uh, and god god and you right yeah. when anybody claims power over your after life they have absolute power over your life now why would anybody want to give up give away the power that's why they caste it's not the so called lower caste people who are adhering to the caste they're not yeah they'd mm. be happy to let go of it yeah it's only the so called higher caste that is adhering to it that is the high, that is the caste that is maj- is overwhelmingly in p- places of power because society has enabled them to to have a better start to have better education to have better opportunities better that's it's similar to the critical race theory in mm. in 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 us where whites white men have everything better even if you if you are not racist but society has has a racist foundation therefore black people will have to work twice as hard just to have half your opportunities mm. similarly power is held by not by the lower caste people mm. therefore the the i think that is why caste exists because they don't want to give away the power this is my opinion uh, it's not a very well researched opinion but it seems logical yeah hai na mm-hmm. uh what's your thought on it i don't know actually i i don't have a defining thought i have I'm... i have had experiences very recently last week or last month in mumbai mm-hmm. somebody came home and that and it was a census that was happening by the government and they said uh, what's your name i said my name is raghuram what's your caste said excuse me what's your caste my wife was there natalie de lucio canadian how can you ask that question in 2024 she says i'm saying to <laughs> please go in i said i don't have a caste smoothly went to what's your surname i said no so i told my surname he got it and left so he mm. uses surnames to situate you mm-hmm. on a map of hierarchy I think there is a I'm not sure. I actually for my mental uh, health I keep away from news and current events now. I think though that there is a push for uh giving OBC status to Marathis. I think there is. Mm-hmm. Uh maybe that's why they are asking caste. I don't fucking know. Or maybe they're not connected at all, but they came and they asked me. Every time they'll ask me surname that's why I generally don't use my surname that's why people don't know I'm Telugu because I don't use my surname. Mm. Yeah. Raghu Ram is my name my name Rajiv Lakshman Rajiv Ram yeah asama surname so I think uh, this generation needs to be aware of it and actively fight it actively fight it really I'll uh, slip in a compliment here yeah so um I am half Telugu and I grew up in Odisha Mm. so i was an outsider because mm. telugu guys get bullied for strange things man mm. like like your title will Define will be you. complicated right like whatever like ks i santosh or whatever mm. it will be a complicated name and then your food mm. uh, they'll be like khatta khana kha raha hai because mm. <laughs> charu and you know peruganna and all 
so and all around me the south indians were all silent guys so i thought in my head that maybe that's a character trait that mm. north indians are boisterous and confident mm. for lack of a better word mm. and south indians show a silent strength mm. or like you know they don't reply mm. and then of course you come into the scene and like you know for all of like us who were under confident at that time the roadies was a strange yeah, yeah. like you know you should feel happy about one thing that you did change the cultural landscape in a way right okay. because the biggest buffest like loudest talking guy was never selected for the roadies yeah. in fact he was ridiculed yeah. and shouted yeah. at and yeah. abused yeah. Yeah. and you would find these people who were just like like i remember some contestants very clearly like there was a guy called ashu hmm. right who was not trying was to the dhaba owner yeah who hmm. was a dhaba owner and then there was another uh, i forget his name uh, he was a finalist also or i think he won also aishman uh, also was uh, he came yeah. initially through uh, rodis no? rodis yeah, yeah yeah no but aishman was still the delhi confident uh, yeah. guy there's another kid he was from the northeast uh, hmm. kiri timung kimo yeah yeah kiri, kiri timung his name is uh, long kiri yeah yeah he had like straight yeah, hair yeah, yeah. and that guy and uh, so that is one thing that i felt and then i come to know a few years later with wikipedia research and all that you are a telugu guy yeah. <laughs> right and i'm like what the fuck like yeah. you know and so you i feel were the most confident yeah man why the fuck not i was fucking telugu guy i know these bullies are based on nothing man so they'll fucking say a lot of things and be confident i'll be I, th- that's a thing you know i was i was louder than the lo- loud guys I, i was not trying to reason with them i was fighting force with force Mm-hmm. and because i know fucking what is that strength yaar they pussies that's why they're uh, again sorry <laughs> <laughs> they cowards uh yeah but thank you thank you and i think that uh, this stereotype of telugu guys being docile and yeah. timid um, needs to change needs to change guys that doesn't mean go ahead and start fighting and be loud and all that yeah. be assertive don't be pushed around don't thoda sa maar khalo chalega it's better in the long run maine khai hai rakh ke khaya i've had a lot of uh, i've been beaten up a lot uh, sometimes you get beaten up sometimes you give it back but at least your self image is is respectful towards yourself rather than you thinking of yourself as oh i can't say this or do this because i'm south indian because i'm telugu no none of that none of that don't listen to your parents hey also uh, i don't know where i heard it you also mentioned that uh, uh, you want to get all the guys uh, or men who are not heard out Uh, on one community any yeah, men's encyclopedia article uh, men's encyclopedia it yeah. is men's encyclopedia no, uh, you mentioned some website on thing no 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 it's something that i it will grow into it to get uh, yeah. all the guys into a community uh, where you can yeah. be heard and all uh, you, can you tell us more about that because no actually it's a thought oh right now the, the podcast is men's encyclopedia the once it the next season comes and and it grows into something slightly bigger we intend to create some kind of community i don't know whether it's an app or what only for men you know but then mm-hmm. that is also a, a weird concept because uh there are all kinds of men and there's a lot of conditioning but i do want a support group to happen because see end of the day men are also victims of sexism we have been our role has been defined we have been defined as strong we cannot be vulnerable we cannot be weak we cannot mm. be emotional we have to, we are only worth uh, what we provide um whenever there's a fire in a building women and children go first men won't uh, it's they say that uh, chris rocks are in heartbreaking he said uh, only women children and dogs are loved unconditionally, unconditionally. for men it is dependent on what you're providing uh that leads to a lot of mental health issues and then there is a lot of uh, weird toxic inculcation look at our films our definition of man is alpha we beat people up we harass women till they love us um uh, all kinds of weird we drink and dance on the roads that's manhood so our con- concept of manhood is fucked up our uh, reality as men is fucked up we have a unique problem of we can't complain Mm. that is yeah. a group yeah. of people with problems who are not allowed to express a problem a complaint yeah. so that is something that so i do want to start a place where uh, uh, somewhere where there is free flowing ideas dialogues maybe maybe could be events maybe could be a 
I don't know if a men's fest is like a sausage fest. We'll call it, <laughs> we'll call it sausage fest. Yeah. <laughs> Could be fun. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. I'll, fun, no? I'll subscribe. There is a research now that has come out saying for mental health, boys mm. should drink with their boys at least two times a week. Mm. Yeah. Not mm. at least, two, two times a week. I do it regularly. We do it regularly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. And I also read this thing like, uh, that uh, man only gets flowers when he's dead, like mm. in, the, in the funeral, right? And that is kind. There is some truth That's in it because we men, don't even get that. We get fire. Forget that man. Don't get compliments. I remember oh, yeah. the best compliment I've got. It was close to 10, 12 years ago. <laughs> really? That's true. Sometimes I, I sit. This. Sometimes I sit and I say, Ah, that person had said this on that day. That's it. I can count it on one hand. Do you the like? Are you okay sharing what that compliment was? Just to get her, unless it's too. She said, "You are endlessly fascinating." Hmm. I thought that's one of the best things that was said about me. Uh, it yeah. would be a really good thing to say to anybody, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're endlessly fascinating. Yeah. True. That's what. Yeah. yeah, yeah. See, I remember the fucking compliment. That is yeah. how few yeah. times. That is how no, rare it is. I also yeah. got totally. just like last two three years. Lo, then I got this feeling of uh, you know what a girl feels when she is complimented. Like I never experienced that. Yeah. Man, when a girl the appreciation is under do. Actual validation under ma ko. Yen le do. Hey, vada va chadu ko ra nu engineer aval baad chud ala ipo ya nu 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 getting ko ra do. <laughs> uh, this is the fucking yeah. life we live as yeah. boys just fucking never and we're never enough <laughs> we're never okay and your girlfriend yeah. is pissed off mom is disappointed dad kare anna ka dushman ha fuck teacher caring failure yeah. this is the life and that's i really want to uh, that's uh, something i'm passionate about about yes. building something yeah. uh, about that you know? even even when you wear a dress like and you won't get a compliment you get like entra a uh, new <laughs> dress and all <laughs> yeah like, are, why? I come from a generation where going to gym was pussy. <laughs> the pussy thing. To, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. Kya, are, he looks after himself. There is something called a metrosexual man, okay? You don't know this because you're not from this generation. In the 90s, the man became metrosexual. It, there was a term for it. He was a man who took care of himself, who dressed well, who probably trimmed his beard. Before that, no. It was looked down upon. Manhood ka ye tha na? Yeah. Ki, yeah, so. There was an ad, cigarette ad the day. No, it's an anti-cigarette ad. And said, with a cigarette in my hand, I felt like a man. That was the thing. Mm -hmm. And so the concept of manhood needs to be redefined, according to me. And people yeah. need to appreciate us men a lot more, a yeah. lot more. Yeah, yeah. Men also, parents and and women. And also, just like give a compliment, like you know. Yeah. What the fuck is your problem, women? Yeah. <laughs> huh? You have a problem with words. You have a problem with expressions. <laughs> Thought le that burralo. <laughs> no, really, I have a big fucking complaint. Today, talk to all your the men in your life. Tell them the best thing that they have heard in their life. Yeah. Do it. Don't yeah. be such a wimp, man. Idiots. Yeah. Please. Sir, buddhi, hey, green t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> okay. Huh, ready. I feel better. Yeah. Huh. So here's uh, the other question, which I. Can't ask guests normally because they're playing so safe. But I feel like since you're here, no, I'm no, no. This. If you feel safe, if you play safe, I'll be offended. Yeah, and so, then green t-shirt will get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling it green t-shirt so that everybody knows that who we're talking. To. Yeah. So, uh, what are your thoughts on cannabis legalization or the relaxation of attitudes towards substances today? Okay, so. There, there are two arguments. There's, there's a pro and a con. Um, I, I do not indulge in that. I must have tried when, when in the age when everybody experiments, I hated it. It's not for me. Having said that, that doesn't mean I do not, uh, I hold that against others, right? Um, I think um, alcohol is an accepted drug, socially accepted drug. In fact, even encouraged. Mm. There is a lot of problems with alcohol, mm. health problems. Uh, violence, impaired driving, death. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, but there is no. I mean, I don't. Some regulation is there below. The bottles don't have a warning. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's also. Awesome. No, I think now they started like last few years. Uh, so. Don't tell me that you as a society are against intoxicants. 
you are not you encourage it you tell our kids to drink you make it available so you are not what is your objection now what are the studies of cannabis leading to crime versus drink leading to crime cannabis leading to violence versus drink alcohol leading to violence cannabis leading to death versus this by making it illegal what are the other problems that you are facing what is the crime that is there because it's illegal i think those need to be you need to go where the data takes you or uh have a problem with alcohol also don't make it available can you do that no you can't no you can't and you won't i dare you i fucking dare you karke dekha you can't do it you don't have the balls so apni mardan ki cannabis pe dikhaiyo theek hai show your manhood of how you are i think i'm not saying legalize it i think research it study says that i my my logic says that it is n- less harmful than alcohol right so then it should not be a problem in fact there is a law, big case to be made for the uh, for the legalization of prostitution now you'll say oh you're trying to destroy society no they don't get medical coverage they do, they have they are the high risk group for sexually transmitted diseases high risk group for violence and exploitation by pimps and customers and by police it is the world's oldest profession according to uh, society it needs to be regulated it need people should have medical people should have regular checkups people should have the security of police protecting them not persecuting them so when i say this yeah ragu is anti christ is anti religion is anti fucking he wants prostitution he wants cannabis he wants fucking people to not listen to your parents he wants yeah <laughs> that's me bitch <laughs> <laughs> fuck this is so amazing man this is, <laughs> this is exactly what i had imagined the podcast to be which is why i came with no questions and no i own it i yeah. own it. i'm not ashamed <laughs> Oh, that's cool. I hope it is uh, not <coughs> boring for you. I mean, I don't I know how many times you are asked these questions. No, no, I'm not. I'm not asked these questions much. So, all of you are single. Yeah. Fuck yeah. me, really? No, don't. Sorry. <laughs> how come? How come you're uh, nobody wants you? <laughs> <laughs> Because you're no, guys. I don't know that. But yeah, why? address it in your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> We are the case studies. <coughs> Girls. <clears throat> all the females who are watching this uh how do they get in touch with you on the comments please tell them no no tell them get in touch and somebody i'm sure wants to wants to take you out i i have spent a long time chatting with them they're they're not that boring i can promise you an interesting <laughs> conversation over coffee the coffee is good they'll pay itna to kar sakte who yeah. should pay for a date both both i guess a split half if i really like i'll come forward if she really likes she'll come forward why both i'll be devil's advocate for a while and then yeah. i'll give you my opinion okay okay i feel both because uh you've mutually come uh, to a table uh, to have a mm. date okay let's take two steps back and we'll uh. come to this question hmm. why was the man supposed to pay to begin with why was he supposed to pay in the because he is the underprivileged no kad kad do because he had economically yeah economically he had an is. income uh, yeah generally women did not have an income hmm. therefore the man would ask and the man would pay hmm. logic hmm. so far so good now people say there is feminism there is equal opportunity uh women can also get a job they are also earning then why should they not pay that is a fair question that's not unfair having said that just because the constitution of india promises equal rights irrespective of gender religion or caste doesn't mean that we have in equal rights and opportunities irrespective of gender religion and caste there is differentiation when like march in if women are india's and the world's biggest minority they have traditionally been historically been suppressed for them to be on the same level they have to be a step or two ahead because you know what i'm saying so mm-hmm. therefore there is reservation for talk of yeah. reservation yeah. for women and the number of graduates who are female and the number of women who enter the workforce are there's a huge gap in that mm. huge all right yeah yeah so it's not like the opportunity exists but 
the society their life is not geared towards exploiting that opportunity mm. Mm. right it is likely more likely than not that the man is earning more and has a, has been earning for the same job there is there is a discrepancy also having said that i feel whoever's idea it was Mm. should pay because see, if you've asked me to come somewhere now you sh- i shouldn't have to spend you said yaar coffee pite chal mm. pila mm. you know i really feel and if the girl does not is not earning definitely the guy should pay mm. don't hide behind oh but there is feminism no feminism is not what you think it's also feminism is something i want to talk about but i really think that uh, this whole thing of people hate feminism why like people hate atheism it rocks the boat it challenges the status quo it threatens the powerful power is held with the men they don't even understand what is feminism according to you what is feminism equality a certain Expl- el- elaborate what is equality um, a world where your gender doesn't matter okay in a way uh, like in a professional environment for example i want to tell you this women are not equal to men and that's a controversial statement i'm making i'm making it for a reason women are not equal to men women are not made to be equal to men women are not born to be equal to men men are not born to be equal to women when people confuse equality with treat women the same as men they are confu- they're missing the point equality means equal rights equal opportunity that's what equality is not your gender doesn't matter no it's not that it's like i i will uh, talk to you like i talk to a boy even though you're a girl that's not that's not feminism that's not equality you can do it but don't think you're a feminist because of that mm. feminism literally means women also have the same rights to vote which is something that most countries have had to work towards to read to educate right to women had there's a right to be born which is an issue there is a discrimination there women don't have the right to be born mm-hmm. <laughs> then uh, of course uh, opportunities for work and for advancement to this thing and they should get the same salary that men get for the same position yeah. it's that is equality right yes. but people think it's feminism is a man hating movement it is some it's a movement that that is against men mm-hmm. that uh, people are uh, people want to suppress men that is what they want to oppress men that's why uh, this thing so when you say hey man why you want equality and then you want me to pay that's an uh, that's an ignorant position according to me i think it does not take into account historic oppression of women and the fact that even now they need a leg up to earn the same as the man uh, but having said that definitely the girl should pay if she has asked the guy out firstly girls don't ask guy out girls these are the guys everybody here is desperate <laughs> <laughs> no let me rephrase that <coughs> is available up for grabs and uh, please ask them out ask them out take them out and uh, you'll offer to pay if 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 you don't have the money don't you don't have to pay on them is that okay that's yeah, fair i'll right? pay for the cab also just chalo ho gaya he'll drive it <laughs> <laughs> he'll make money yeah so yeah See, these are things that, according to me, the simplest concepts and the most misunderstood and and uh, hated, yeah. hated. We're so comfortable and fond of ignorance. We're so threatened by knowledge and awareness. Why am I being the voice of doom? <laughs> no, it's great, man. Yeah. We need a voice of doom. Need, huh? Nah. Also, like it's correct, right? Like, why don't women ask out men, man? Like. Why are bald men only cast as villains and fat <laughs> men only cast as comedians? Mm. Why do mm. vamps have shorter hair and shorter clothes mm. and heroines have longer hair? Mm. You see the stories that we tell ourselves I'm too preachy yaar but that's okay that's okay that's okay don't stop no. our films are this mo- we've been telling ourselves stories before films before theater before anything even you know stories tell us two things one they tell us who we are and two they tell us who we want to be who we aspire to be you know um 
we like watching some stories the who we are are a little depressing because they can be critical mm. uh but the stories of who we want to be are very very aspirational mm. so you will see that um, in south indian films let's take that as an example the boys are going to be the protagonist the lead the hero is going to be a local boy mm. the villain is going to be an outsider mm. the hero is going to be an outsider yeah even in the north Hema Malini, Shri Devi, Jai Prada, Deepika Padukone. These guys are accepted, not Kamal Hasan, Chiranjeevi, Rajnikanth. They won't take the men. They won't take the women. Mm. It's a very patriarchal approach of saying that our men dominate their men and get their girls. Our girls don't go there. Mm. It's everywhere. Mm. Here also. The way we project our men, at one time it was Mariyada Purushottam. That was a philosophy. It was a principle thing. Now mm. it's just a Purushottam. is just <laughs> he just beats a fucking an army of people <laughs> alone right mm. he's never down yeah what kind of a masculinity is that so mm. uh that is why in our stories heroes are good looking young heroines are beautiful the villains are ravan they are and surpanaka they are uh yeah. they ha- they actually have uh, attributes taken from things we are afraid of animals they have bloodshot mm-hmm. eyes mm-hmm. fangs like mm-hmm. long nails horns mm-hmm. uh, beast mm-hmm. so things that we were afraid of in the jungle mm-hmm. we attribute those things when we are telling a story we want the person to know this guy is a bad person he should you should not be like. so we give him the, all those attributes therefore we have gone into this process of be- making good looks a virtue if you do not look conventional you are a comedian vamp or villain mm. that is that leads to a lot of other things but it is the stories we tell ourselves and that reflects on who we are and who we think we want to be which i don't think we should want to be mm. therefore i am starting a petition to be the heroine of a film <laughs> <laughs> no I'm just, no it's it's true that if somebody was to cast me they'll cast me as the villain yeah mm. you know yeah especially with my points of view on religion society caste and etc i am the villain yeah because i am against society i'm happy so uh. most uh, youngsters in their teens 20s mm. are insecure about their looks primarily mm. Mm. Yeah, and then natural. it later natural. goes yeah. on to i think yeah. teens look funny <laughs> acne yeah yeah uh, pimples and and pu- puberty is not kind boys <laughs> especially to guys it's yeah, not yeah. right huh? so then what was your question so how do they overcome that like you know you grow out of it man so don't okay. focus on it too much no it's okay no no focus on see there's no denying the fact that how we look influence how people treat us hmm. okay for the longest time i didn't care what i wore my wife make sure that i i wear things even now i'm just dressed normally mm-hmm. but uh i think i am a fan of self improvement uh, i'm not saying good look looking good is an improvement necessarily but confidence is an improvement mm-hmm. and if if looking a certain way makes you more confident so let's say i'm going to use a very shallow terminology okay but don't judge the term the, judge the principle by the shallowness of the terminology if you wake up as a 5 out of a 10 by the time you go out you should go up to at least 7 or 8 by trimming mm. by wearing mm. even the perfume something something that you're conf- confident about mm. that you feel confident about so yeah you may not be able to do anything about the pimples that are coming in your face but do something else take the attention away do something that will make you confident in spite of it mm. that's what go to the gym run cycle mm. swim yeah read get confident on fucking your mind that is so much sexier than yeah. see the one of the best compliments i remember it was not about my looks mm. i happen to be endlessly fascinating page <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um i'm just shooting questions mm-hmm. and i'm just curious to know what i'm waiting think. for cold coffee and shawarma Okay, so, until okay. then, we are talking. You're, you guys are okay, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we are just, we have no time limit. It can <laughs> go on for as much. So, uh, a few months back, mm. I traveled to Gajwil. It's a district uh, in Telangana mm. to shoot a documentary. Mm. 
mm. right and my friend contested in the assembly elections as a independent candidate no money mm. right and that gave me an insight which has been like that question has been troubling me for months which i thought i would like to know your opinion because yeah. you have some experience in that so initially when i went i thought it's the same thing that you go to a village and people are distributing uh, booze and money and mm. the villagers are just lapping it up mm. when i go there i realize dude in the villages they are politically aware at a level that urban people cannot even comprehend mm. and then the election gets over and i'm there and all of it gets over then i see the voting percentages in urban places like mm. in hyderabad mm. and shockingly low mm. like the uh, bangalore last time was 35 urban bangalore was 35% Yeah, forty-four. Uh, here it was forty-four, mm. right? Mm. Why are young urban Indians not mm. voting? You think? Yeah, uh, are they? It's a simple question actually, and it's it's a it, it's a judgment on the on the administration. I don't think the youth feels connected with the administration, unless it's a religious kind of a fervor. you know mm. uh, but largely youth will go for where they find value they'll get on dating apps if they need to they'll get on instagram they will do all kinds of things become an influencer they'll do what they'll do what, what they want to do mm. they don't see the point in that case mm. is it a youth thing specifically or is it a general thing of the voting and i assume it is a youth thing because in urban bangalore the age average age will be much lower right it will be people who are working and stuff like that mm -hmm. so i'm yeah, theorizing uh, that it is see i feel that it takes to get elected is a different set of skill and to govern is a different skill set oh, absolutely i think people have loyalties to parties and to um, ideologies and um, irrespective of like people in i'll take america as an example because it's such a stark divide okay i'm using it, that is an exaggerated version of of democracy mm. because there's such a clear divide between blue and red mm. democratic and republican no matter what trump does republicans will vote for him you know why because they are not uh voting on what it can do for them it is they are voting for how they how they makes them feel if i feel better about modi and the fact that jai shri ram is now a thing i will vote for it there's a guy i saw real screaming khana nahi chahiye naukri nahi chahiye mandir chahiye mandir chahiye and i'm not saying mandir is a bad thing it should be there the supreme court said and great it's there but that sentiment ki i don't want food i don't want a job but i want a, this thing and you're voting on the basis of that that's fucked up that's fucked up now you're not giving people an incentive to work for development you are giving them an incentive to fan communal fires or uh, insecurities about in immigrants for example right that will get you voted that will get you elected you get it so when development is not incentivized why will the voters are not incentivized hmm. voters are not incentivized ki main yaar fuck i want a four day work week yeah i'm going to vote in the, uh, uh, no there is no fucking talk of policy there is talk of temples there is talk of fucking pakistan and there is fucking talk of this hmm. why would i vote why would you fuck i didn't have a voters i got till i till anazare happened fucking i then i became a campaigner but i didn't i didn't believe that anything will change i don't think so that's have i i think I, this is my opinion yeah, and i think it's logical again yeah. i could be wrong on the facts of it and and the percentages but i think the logic is sound yeah so i'll uh, tell you one more thing mm. that i remember very starkly from the roadies and this is the general impression i have of you could be wrong of course but you can always take the risk of asking mm. i feel like you do not have a condescending attitude towards the younger generation Again. which most people do yeah but i feel like you have a sense of empathy respect, i understand empathy yeah. you know and it's, that's what makes the roadies click actually yeah, yeah. because mm -hmm. in the whatever 30 minutes show was it 30 minutes show every episode 30 to 45, 30, 40, 45. Mm. so you're shouting at 20 people but there will be those one or two guys that you genuinely are talking to and yeah, i remember yeah, yeah. one episode so clearly that there's a guy who said uh, something he said mujhe singer banna hai hmm. but uh, pressure hai and you're like hey this is my friend 
and that was mohan kannan uh. right and you're like he's my friend and he wanted to do his thing he was not like a pussy like you who cried uh. he went and fucking did his shit yeah. and today he's a singer yeah. of course then i didn't know mohan kannan and like yeah. what an amazing yeah. guy he is yeah. and uh, then of course he gives the track for uh, he does ahte for splitsvilla yeah. yeah. and yeah. now he works with amit trivedi and like he's, he's a big. great uh, agni the band basically mm-hmm. so i always felt that you have a slight <laughs> respect of for the I next do. generation a slight empathy which i think mm-hmm. is so nice yeah. because most old people are just shitting on youngsters because no, they man. live more years on earth man yeah. it's yeah i happen to i feel um, solidarity and i also am critical of uh, young guys because a lot of that hot headedness comes from ignorance and fear but uh, i really understand it's not easy being a young guy you being to- you don't have the freedom to uh, and you're being told a lot of things a lot of pressure is happening this today it's worse than it was actually i'll tell you uh, i was bullied in school i was bullied in college today the kids my of that age are getting bullied online they're getting bullied on yeah. uh, dating mm. apps they're fucking getting bullied everywhere yeah it's it's the the what i wore and how i felt judged because of my clothes happened in parties if i went there and etc they have it on instagram the body image uh, you know influencers this such a it's such a uh, appearance based uh, universe that the and the mental health the fucking news channels screaming at you all the time it is difficult being a young guy today and young girl today and i do respect that i i appreciate that i do um, stand by them and i hope they succeed i'm rooting for you i'm rooting for the guys and girls young people and uh, i i'll always tell the grown ups to understand not uh, not tell the youth to re- listen to your parents i'll always say grown ups you have to understand them accept them they don't feel accepted they don't feel accepted and then uh, what is your thing with music because like yaar uh, i had a thing with music and it it's gone now i used to sing i used to play the guitar i wrote Ooh. songs i'll tell you why yeah. i remember you went on indian idol mm. oh, that, and you mm. and no that that was apparently uh, was it a, a it challenge was, or yeah, something yeah it was it was a prank yaar see what happened was i was shooting rodi's 2 ayushman ke sath we finished in amritsar vaga border and i was coming back to mumbai i drove down from amritsar to delhi oh. and from there i was taking a flight to bombay mumbai um at that time the first season of of uh, indian idol was being shot the auditions were happening and i my friends were making it and my girlfriend at that time was there so i went over there and they knew me that i'm a hot headed guy i i used to get into loud debates with everything they said oh ragu tu aa gaya tu ek kaam kar to ja aur lad we just go fight with them i said <laughs> why should why should i, I remember that song so I nice i said why should i fight no i don't want to fight with them no do it yeah do it they make people cry go and fight i said no i don't my girlfriend said baby <laughs> i said i will slay whatever dragon let's go i went there and i didn't even know what song somebody was singing aaj jaane ki zid na karo yeah and he chose aaj jaane ki zid na karo all the songs i mean i abhi maine thoda socha that is the song that popped up because i was sitting there and then i realized fuck i have to sing a song and that guy was singing that song and i went and they said do your warm up and i started warming up uh no actually i also bought into it i thought like actually is a very good singer the first time well actually he sang well yeah only at the line where uh where it comes like you he pehlu then i lost it like oh shit no then i remember what sonu nigam says sonu nigam says nahi aapne acha gaya something but uh, my issue was <laughs> anu malik stop me <laughs> <laughs> he stopped me midway and he started talking and, and i stopped him midway <laughs> i said yes or no <laughs> he said no i said tamish se nahi bolunga <laughs> No, no, you were the first contestant who was like, yeah, okay, fine, whatever, man, <laughs> fuck you. Imagine me telling people to be fucking polite, and that became a joke later on. But yeah. I had gone to pick up a fight, yeah. Yeah, you did succeed, I would say. Like, I did. Oh, you just yeah. went to like uh, change the tone of the. Uh, I, I was. It, I, I took you some yeah, entertainment. I was young. I was stupid. People put me up to it. Man, yeah, man, I did. I'm not proud of it. It just people think that I wanted to be a singer. No, I didn't want to be a singer. Yeah. You don't need to be in a reality show to be anything. Yeah. you can just uh, i i am a singer because I, i was i used to have these musical nights with mohan coco uh, 
पापोन ऑल दिस शिल्पा राव ऑल दिस गर्ल्स ब्यूटिफुल सिंगर्स लवली अमेजिंग पीपल दैट वॉज अ पार्ट ऑफ माई लाइफ एंड देन वेन माई डिवोर्स हैपन म्यूजिक सम हाउ जस्ट लेफ्ट एंड आई हैव एंड संग और प्लेड द गिटार इन एट ईयर्स नाउ आई नो आई हैव टू गेट बैक टू इट देन आई मैरिड नैटली डी लूचो आई एम सो आई एम सो इन ऑ अभी मेरी फटती है to sing yeah. she's an opera singer she's there she's in the divara title track yeah yeah, yeah. no i have uh, she's on coke studio like she's in uh, coke studio yes yeah yeah um i think like one of my favorite songs also like uh, she i i don't know if it's her i'm sorry that but uh, i think the nadia nitish uh, nitin sawni coke studio that's not her i'm so sorry no 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 She said, uh, "But baram, she did some cool studio bari, song." Yeah, Amitri Vedi. Amitri Vedi, she did. Correct. Barambari. Correct. Bari, correct. Bari. Correct. Yeah. So she's I just thought maybe she's also the girl who uh, started the song. Navrahi majhi lara chhi lara chhi ga. That's her. Mm-hmm. Then the in the oh, beginning. Okay, okay, okay. But she's an opera singer. She sings in Bollywood randomly, but mm-hmm. uh, but you listen to her on Divara. All hail the tiger. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. I'm such a fan. Mm. of my wife really <laughs> yeah uh going back to a whole uh, overview of like you started as a tv and tv presenter then a producer i did uh, not start as a this? presenter i started as a trainee trainee oh shit. also known as a village bicycle everybody gets a ride <laughs> my job was to get coffee for everyone <laughs> which green t-shirt you're not doing a good job of <laughs> cut to <laughs> <laughs> okay uh and uh, yeah i worked started working when i was 20 years old drop out drop out dropped out of college what and did you go to study i'm curious literature oh but college cured me of the habit of reading for a long time it took mm-hmm. me 10 years to get back to books mm-hmm. did you study in hyderabad i mm-hmm. actually came here to give give the give the um, exams in osmania university at that mm-hmm. time had a program for external students now that is not even correspondence mm-hmm. so uh, mm-hmm. you don't have to attend classes you don't have to even read it you just give mm-hmm. the exams oh yeah okay. yeah ha huh. correspondence ha yeah. it's not correspondence not correspondence correspondence means they will give you lessons on the mail yeah, uh-huh. that was it uh-huh. you had to do some beach beach mein you had to regularly participate yahan kuch bhi nahi tha you just go and give the exams i did that in uh, hyderabad uh, osmania university i gave the exams i do have a degree uh-huh. uh, i don't know how good that is but i i rajiv and i passed but for all practical purposes we dropped out dropped out of the education system and mm-hmm. uh, started working my first job was a spot boy actually rajiv and my uh, mm-hmm. we were spot boys for a with mtv i mean no 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 it was a public service thing for doordarshan about child labor mm-hmm. rajiv and i was spot boys there oh we were 20 you were the child labor in yeah, the, the child <laughs> labor doing that we were carrying flasks of chai and water and all that oh. uh, then became a trainee Uh, trainee say then cap 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 rudy's happened i happened to be on camera for a different reason this was not planned okay yeah, it happened now i'm doing films in telugu okay no no i, I want to ask like from that phase you you come across a long way now in the creative side so what phase are you currently in i am yeah. at my age i'm happy to say i'm reinventing myself i am choosing a new career i do not I'm not actively involved in reality shows anymore. I am acting in Telugu films uh in Hindi as well, web series mm-hmm. for now. When films happen they'll happen. I am writing. I have written a short film. I'm about to direct that. I mm-hmm. am writing a feature film and uh looking forward to see what that happens. So, yeah. Um I'm excited. I am scared. I am vulnerable. I I am charged I am hungry I am young once again mm-hmm. because I am fucking I don't know what the fuck will happen <laughs> I'm out of my comfort zone and I'm happy about that mm-hmm. but it's terrifying but I'm happy I nice. then uh, the first film is Kida Kola that uh, Telugu mein ya oh antak mundu oka one movie I think you No in Hindi I've, Varun I've, Doctor was dubbed in Telugu it was a Tamil yeah. film called Varun, Doctor ha, ha, ha. Doctor yeah, yeah, yeah the train scene right Oh yeah yeah, yeah. Scene, right? and then also in uh, uh I think Tismar Khan also you both ah, come. So yeah. I've done films in uh Hindi, then I did a film in Punjabi. Mm-hmm. Then I did a for a friend he was making it. Then uh Tamil, but 
బట్ లాస్ట్ మే తెలుగు బట్ ఐ ఐ తెలుగు బాయ్ బట్ పీపుల్ ఇన్ నో దాట్ సో నో ఐ గాట్ దిస్ రోల్ నౌ ఐఎమ్ యాక్టింగ్ అన్ అదర్ ఫిల్మ్ నౌ యాక్చువల్లీ యూ సీ ఐఎమ్ హియర్ ఫర్ దాట్ షూట్ ఓన్లీ దాని తప్ప దెన్ దెర్ ఆర్ కపుల్ ఆఫ్ అదర్ కాన్వర్సేషన్స్ దట్ హ్యాపనింగ్ బట్ దిస్ సంథింగ్ ఐఎమ్ ఐఎమ్ ఎక్సైటెడ్ అబౌట్ సంథింగ్ ఐఎమ్ ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ ఇన్ ఐఎమ్ మీటింగ్ రియలీ టాలెంటెడ్ క్రియేటివ్ పీపుల్ హియర్ యంగ్ పీపుల్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ దే రైట్ దే డైరెక్ట్ దే యాక్ట్ యు నో వెరీ వెరీ అండ్ దే థింక్ డిఫరెంట్లీ ఐ లైక్ ఇట్ Mm-hmm. because the telugu has these mass films which has which has a certain personality and then mm-hmm. there are these other films which are young writer directors are making and mm-hmm. and they're very good yeah they're very yeah. good do you also feel like because of rodies mm-hmm. you only get a similar kind of a role like sir or psychopath mm-hmm. untadu or whatever <laughs> like gangster well, I, I told you right because uh-huh. based on look and based on my personality and my outspokenness against the status quo i will always be perceived as the villain yeah um i'm okay to begin with i think it's a good entry point i do want to change uh let me explain this we have short heroes mm. we have fat heroes mm. we have ugly heroes mm. we don't have bald heroes yeah there's no we don't have thin heroes Mm. we do have thin heroes sorry there's no reason i'm not saying i want to be a lead i want to be a hero i'm just saying that pigeon holing people typecasting them because of their looks right is something i want to break out of and i do not uh, want to stay stuck in mm. playing that kind of role it's good for me now it's okay for me now because uh, it is giving me the experience and an entry into an industry where i want to experiment <laughs> but uh, hopefully soon i'll work towards changing that not yeah. be relegated to only that yeah so if writer directors are uh, listening listening please, keep a, keep a please write a story where raghu is saving I, a puppy i do, <laughs> from a, i don't need you i'm writing it myself yes yeah. that's where you go it's a series that i'm working on a telugu series mm-hmm. oh nice i'm writing it yeah so. what what genre can you oh it's dark edgy because if the protagonist looks like me mm. the story and the world also is a little warped mm. and uh, yeah um it's action and have you seen um, the marvel series daredevil yeah no uh, i watched it recently tonality and genre that's similar to that it's not a superhero film it's a series no but tonally it's that okay like a little star like a yeah dark and and uh, gritty. edge gritty fucking gritty okay and you're going to star in it yes that's the plan fuck man nice, nice. Mm-hmm. yeah i think you will do well in that see if you believe in the limitations that other put others put on you mm-hmm. then they are right and you are wrong mm. if they say you're a villain and you say okay then they're right yeah. if you say fuck no then they're wrong mm. right so i will not be limited you might be limited in your imagination when it comes to me i'm not i'm going to express myself to my fullest that's the plan mm-hmm. mm. cool yeah, now yeah. let's let's do the beating up uh, let's do the ending and let's do the beating up shot sure sure what do you, how do you want to end it what do you want to talk just about just we beat uh, up the producer that's how we go <laughs> <laughs> mm. no but is there anything no. you want to say i'm sorry we just went asking and we like is there anything you want to talk to people uh we can give you the demography of our uh, podcast if you feel like there no, is no it doesn't i have already told the things i want to say i want to talk to the girls <laughs> thank you and i want to tell them to give compliments to guys yes i want to tell them to ask these boys out uh and uh, i want to tell everybody to not obey their parents and elders nen cheppes bye 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 <laughs> Like can i can i take like last 5 yeah. minutes yes, yes yes uh, so when we started the podcast we had a clear goal in mind we felt like the internet is full of like you know hatred and we wanted to create like a soft space like an mm. oasis of just people I'm chilling i'm sorry about all the violence that has happened on the, on the no show. this was great this no, was no, great it will happen now <laughs> <laughs> but uh, when we started we wanted to like focus on four aspects uh physical health which yeah. i think you spoke about very well which is like if you are a 5 be a 7 and step out mm-hmm. i mean that's on you um physical health mental health right 
टाइम मैनेजमेंट मनी मैनेजमेंट राइट सो ऑन दीज फोर टॉपिक्स आई कैन टॉक अबाउट टू ऑफ देम विच आर थ्री ऑफ देम आई कैन टॉक अबाउट मनी मैनेजमेंट जीरो आई टॉक अबाउट फिजिकल हेल्थ सिंपल ईट लेस मूव मोर ह्यूमन बॉडी हैज इवॉल्व टू मूव मोर एंड ईट लेस when we were hunter gatherers and for, that's for million years I, i don't know how many thousands and thousands not million maybe tens of thousands of years are we survived because we operate on fat and we can move and that's why we store fat not carbs not sugar but now for the first time we have diseases linked to overeating for the first time in human history there's too much food mm-hmm. and it's there in fucking app i'm going to start an app where not only will it deliver ni ko che note lo betti they yeah people will do it yeah. that, that is how yeah, yeah. Okay. and you know what if they don't exercise you should shout through the <laughs> app <laughs> nee. so 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 intermittent fasting is something i would i would highly recommend uh, customize it for yourself look it up eat less okay you don't need food you eat too much don't snack between meals that's physical this thing and of course physical activity you don't need to go to the gym you can just walk run hike whatever play a game play a sport perfect it's fun mental health do not watch the news do not ha- read newspapers do not uh try and stay away from instagram i mean as much as possible i know you can't it's easier to get away from news channels it's very difficult to get away from instagram but take it with a pinch of salt be have real friends rather than online friends face to face milo mental health ke liye acha hai the study says if you're a boy go drink with your boys it's good fun it's good for your mental health time management will happen yaar yeah? it's a question of priority prioritize yourself love yourself pura prioritize yourself everything will fall into place you know who to spend time with who not to spend time with don't people please do not do anything for anybody that you don't want to do that sounds harsh but but it's an extreme way of saying prioritize yourself your health your mental health and your time so time management is not is nothing other than prioritizing yourself if you want to start become an ias officer then your time management is just studying but that's prioritizing yourself if you want to be an actor manage the time that i have to do the gym i have to do the acting classes i have to watch movies i have to read books prioritize that and then do everything else you know what mm. i'm saying mm. so time management is prioritizing yourself money management is zero nothing i don't know what to do <laughs> no thank you so much my pleasure i mean man. i had a great uh, time yeah, thank you for the this coffee. is probably the most different podcast yeah, that yeah. we have shot <laughs> totally, yeah. because uh, like i was fucking scared of you man when you came <laughs> i was like oh shit but uh, why did that change I don't know I think mm. like in the way No this is what we want even our audience <laughs> to feel uh, that if you talk with you and I am still star struck but uh, I am like I feel so nice I feel so I feel so warm also now Yeah thank, thank you so cool. much man thank and, you so uh, much And I am not going to change my stance on Pelchipulu mm-hmm. I'm like because now even till Are now push back yeah. yeah push back I'm telling you yeah. look here's the thing Quick story for everyone There was this sadhu back in the day who was going from Oka village in Chirondo village keltunaru is one of my favorite stories he had to go through a forest he is walking and then a snake comes and he is about to strike him so what and tadu wait snake em chestunao enduku nannu ila bite chestha ante i am a snake that's what i do this but i i don't do any i don't hold a level of threat to you nen nen em cheyaledu kada nannu enduku chestuno ila cheyagadu oka pravachanam he does give a little lecture ki it's bad to hurt people don't do it be care for everyone and and he goes away she says okay i've learned my lesson thank you he goes away one month two month he's there he's coming back from the same distance he meets the same snake by the side of the road dying he like bloodied beaten up one eye is gone tooth is gone and just bleeding ripped skin the like, what happened the snake said it's you ni gurinchi ayindi how he said i stop being a threat to anybody andro velthu osuna nu kottu potaru they just beat me up and i do nothing he says beta i told you not to bite anyone i did not say don't show your fangs let them feel a little tentative around you let them feel and i've learned that i am not a big guy but if people tell me that they were scared of me there's a reason i have made you feel that i have displayed my fangs the ability 
to react weirdly. I've done that. So for your family, about your relationship, show your facts. Tell them to look for a girl who will live with you on a trial basis. They will die. They say, of course, then I'll marry a boy. <laughs> then they will die. <laughs> then they will say, again, just show your fangs. Ila matlar then in second setup pe ta. Power is with you. Remember that you're the groom. Ninu kotti, they're not. You're not the bride that they'll mm. force you. Mm. Power is in your hand. Don't give away the power. Take it. Mm. All right? Yes. <sighs> That's all the class for today, children. <laughs> <laughs> Thank You're you welcome. So much. Thank you. Thank you. So <laughs> Thank much. you. Cheers, bro.